Or like not the tree, but like the jumps in the tree. Yeah, what am I doing? Dude, that's so hard. Oh yeah, you're not just a flip there. You just want to land back normally. You're you're like look, you're trying to go for a flip, and I don't think that's oh. a flip. Wait, really? You're not just a flip there? Yeah. No, you're not just a flip there. That's what I was saying. Oh, I'm actually dumb. All right. Oof. One more attempt. See, Question mark. See, one more attempt. One more attempt. One more attempt. <laughs> Come on, actually, let me focus up. Come on, actually, let me focus up. Ah, shit, chat. Forgot about the mic. All right, so what I was saying is, if you look in the top left, um, damn it, did he leave? He left. Okay, I was in the game with Linkus, the Wind Waker slash Minecraft slash speedrunner guy. He was playing, because he was, he was playing with, um, he was talking to Quack about it, about Pokestuck. But yeah, what's up, Jigman? What's up, Shorty? We're good. We're back. We're back. We're back. Yeah. So Linkus was in my game. I was hanging out with. I was hanging out in Quack Stream, Mr. Quack, Atrox editor. Um, I think Blippy's in here. No, I think Blippy left. But yeah, I, I've been in their stream hanging out. They're playing Pogo. They're doing like a Pogo like challenge, basically. First one to beat it out of their friend group. And also watching hockey on my TV up here, because the Islanders are playing, and the first overtime period just ended. Okay, back to back to pogoing. So I'm just gonna be chilling, doing some map one runs, talking to chat, hanging out, watching hockey, as well. If you want to watch along? Turn on the Islander game. Quack! Thank you for follow Quack. Quack, I'm doing map one runs in honor of you. Um, we're just gonna warm up. I I'm I'm all, I'm like. I'm doing like half-assed runs until this hockey game's over, because I'm gonna be like watching it in the corner of my eye and as well as reading chat. Oh, there's the quack raid! Oh my god, I expected it after he followed me. Yo, what up, quack? So, ba all right, basically, chat. I was watching quack stream for the past like three hours while simul simultaneously playing Pogo Suck and watching um, hockey. So I've been doing a lot. I've been doing the most. Um, so I decided to add a fourth thing and stream while watching Quacks. No, I wasn't watching Quack stream when I was streaming, but Quack, thank for the radio. What's up, everybody? What's up, boys? What's up? Quack Scoper. Blippy, thanks for the follow. Doug, thank you for the follow. No, no, Noah. Void makes vids. Quack, I appreciate the raid, homie. Hey, deal's still on the table. You know, those 50 gifted for the team viewer. You know, I got you, homie. You start falling behind. I got you. You're at Grapes again? I literally just reset. Look at my look at the top. I'm, it's been a minute into the run. I finally get to see past grapes. You'll I can I'll beat the map in like two seconds. You can you can easily see past grapes. Don't worry. Not literally two seconds. Don't quote me on that. 
But you will see past grapes. Yes, you will see past grapes. I am multitasking. I am doing the most right now. Hockey in the summer. It's the playoffs, man. It's first round of the playoffs. NHL, baby. My team, New York Islanders, baby. We gotta beat the Penguins. <laughs> team viewer. Yeah, me and Quack have a... It's a hush-hush deal, you know? Good thing the rest of the guys in the, in the, in the competition aren't there. Uh, who we got? Joshua, thank you for the follow. Maddie Blue, thank you for the follow. Atomic Penguin, thank you for the follow. Mike Wild, Wise Wedge, Yoki Burst, thank you for the follow. Boys. If you don't know who I am, boys, I am a content creator for Pogo Stuck. Not solely Pogo Stuck, but I do a lot of Pogo Stuck speedrunning. Um, on map one, I currently sit number 14th in the world with a 3 minute and 7 second run. But I haven't really run map 1 recently. What I've been doing is doing map 2, but not map 2, map 2 upside down mode. Which is basically the map flipped on its head. So you're going from the top to the bottom. But like, it's flipped over so you're still going up. Um, and that, I'm trying to set a sub 4 right now. I currently sit 11th, one side out of the top 10. But I have, I've been on pace for a 358 which would put me at number 7. That's what we're currently going for in the speedrunning streams. Map 2 regular? I currently sit number 6. That I'm going to be going for world record this summer. I need to shave off 12 seconds and I can take world record from Rain. Uh, I think it's doable. My Map, map 2 is my best map and after playing Map 2 upside down I think I my skills have been improved enough to beat that 411 time. I'm going to try to go for I'm going to try to go for world record. I'm going to try to do it. I did, I want to get sub 4 at least. My my goal but like I get sub 4 Map 2, sub 3 Map 1. And sub four map two upside down, and I can retire. I can be happy. But then map three is coming out this summer. If you don't know, Super Coup, the developer of this game, has released map three trailers um, and little teasers. Map three is going to be a thing this summer. Hopefully, it's going to get more eyes on this beautiful game that Quack has been raging at. I'm going to close my eyes when you get past where I'm at, try to not spoil. That's fair. That's fair. Beat the what for weird? I try to do uh, to save shrooms, so I have too much boost. In that. Uh, yeah. Upside down, yeah, so map 2, you know map 2, like you've seen like the Ludwig video or whatever? They, it's the same map, but just flipped on upside down, and it's possible to beat. We just did a tournament. I, uh, I got to quarterfinals and lost. <laughs> I choked really hard. Are there crazy skips or is this really clean gameplay? Uh, this map has definitely the biggest skips, um, out of the other two, right? So, um, I'll show you. I'll show you Mr. Quackscoper. Alright, so this is what this is what Quack's having trouble with, right? Like you don't have to like go back to the safety branch, you can just go over. And then you wanna catch this edge, go to here, you know, back up to here, and then yeah, you're good. From here you're pretty much safe until you get back up to like cliff jumps or like um mushrooms. Uh this is our first major skip, it's palm tree skip. You you Oh I fucked it up. But you basically skip a whole section, um, which is palm tree, because it's really annoying to do in a speed run because of all the edges. Um, yeah, you, you skip the whole section on the right and just go from here up to this branch, back down, and then up to the cave. So that's palm tree skip, right? That skips a whole... You see the splits in the top right? You see pineapples? There's a question mark split. That's palm tree split. And then mushrooms is the split I just got. So there's a whole... It's a, you skip a whole section by doing that. So is there multiple ways? Yeah, map 3 is supposed to have multiple routes. Map 3 is supposed to be sick. Yeah, that's the trailer. Garbag just uh, linked it. Map 2 is fun. Map 2 is goaded. Map 2 is my favorite map, easily. So yeah, that's the biggest skip. That's the, one of the biggest skips in this. Next is Anvil skip, which is even harder to do. There's a Map 3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a Map 3 coming out in the summer. Like, August, I think. It's gonna be fucking sick. Is Map 3 supposed to be more like Map 2 or will it be fun? Uh, map 3 is supposed to be, it's, so, Super Crew described Map 1 as being a 5 out of 10 in difficulty, Map 2 as being a 10 out of 10 in difficulty, and Map 3 is supposed to be, like, a 7 out of 10. So it's gonna be, like, there's gonna be, it's gonna be, like, multiple routes, too, so, like, there's gonna be hard routes that are, like, more composed, finer jumps that, like, speedrunners obviously will take, and then there's gonna be, like, easier routes for, that are gonna be slower in terms of the speedrun, but, um, it'll help people, you know, have a good time to beat it. It's supposed to be, like, the best of both worlds. Uh, I think it's gonna be sick. I think Super Crew's gonna do a sick job. He's a he's an amazing developer. He tried to do that. You tried to do palm tree skip, Blippy. It's not terribly hard. You can do it with a lot of setup jumps. You don't need to do like one jump like I do. 
teacher time. Yeah, I'm gonna teach you the speedrun strats. This is you absolutely should not do these skips. By the way, go to Palm Tree. It's you'll you're safe in Palm Tree. This one you can just like mess up because you have to go back like you have to go back left to to pineapples to get back up. So and we'll skip the bane of my existence. It's all right. I guess I gotta get insane at the game by the time after he comes out. Uh, you don't have to be. I mean, map beating map two will you'll be in good prime position to beat map three easily. Yo, what up, you mess? Hunter be Randy? Yeah, you know, we out here. Uh, Pinja TN, thank you for the follow. J Maz and Seth Ozer, thank you for the follows, boys. Appreciate it. Quack again, thank you for the raid, my man. Map one, map three, then two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the difficulty order. I kind of wish he made it harder than map two. Me too, because map two isn't hard. <laughs> it really isn't. Uh, for me, at least. I love map two. Oh, I went too far. Basically, I want to get on the... This is this is anvil skip, right? So there's a whole other section. It's like the lava pillars type thing. Um. Oh my god, another raid. What's up, James? Let me get off this Sonic song. I'm not feeling it. Oh, classic. Classic. If you know this game chat, you're a real one. If you know what song this game is... Or what game this song is from, you're a real one. Alright, let me focus. Ready? This is Anvil Skip. You go from here, you go up and down onto this mushroom, back up to this rock, jump straight up, catch the mushroom, and then you get up. Uh, I fucked it up, but... Might have it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then you get up here, basically, skipping the whole mushroom cave right section. And then from here, to get up to springtime jumps, you do this... Drop down, up and over and across, and then you basically skip the whole anvil, lava, pillars section um, to get to the cliffs. Um, it's not... Uh, well, it's hard, it's hard. I'm not going to say it's not hard, it's hard. <laughs> but uh, once you basically memorize... Basically, anything with this game, once you memorize the angles and do it enough times, it's just about like hitting... It's just about being consistent, right? It's just about hitting those angles over and over. Um, so like anvil skip, I've obviously done a million times because I have like, I mean, I can check the mastery leaderboard. Let's see. There's a whole leaderboard that like basically just that's stat keeping, right? Um, I'm currently number 24 on the mastery leaderboard with 359 map one wins, 302 map two wins at level 755. And I only have like 550 hours, maybe. How am I so good? Uh... The story of how I got into Pokestuck was uh, actually through Ludwig. I watched Ludwig's video. I checked his time on the leaderboard. Uh, after beating the game, the fastest ever, by the way, 10 and a half hours, I went into Ludwig's stream, saw what his time was, beat his time, then went and trapped the Dono and was like, yo, my time's faster than you. What are you going to do about it? And he was like, I don't give a shit about your shitty time. And then he was like, I watched your video. It's dog shit. Uh... Your run is dog shit. Get top 10, then come talk to me. So then I got top 10, and then I came back, and he was like, all right, fair play. <laughs> that's that's how I got into Pogo Stuck speedrunning. James, thanks for the raid. Play going bad? I'm definitely not, not going to do that. Uh, I don't play DMCA because sometimes I just have a conversation, and that can be content, so I don't want to, like, have copyrighted music behind, like, conversation. Um... I have a lot of content backed up that I just haven't edited. I need to get on that. Palm skip is clean. Uh, what else we got? What we got in chat? Story time? Yeah, big story time. If you want to, you know, if you know, um, one of Ludwig's editors, his name is Cole the Man. Yo, Nick, thanks for the five gifted, man. I appreciate it. Brayden, Donley, Davis, uh, Jesse Werner, and Day Adam got a sub. Let's go. Thank you for the five gifted, Nick. Yeah, so so basically, one of Ludwig's editors who does his, like, his story time videos, he's not, like, it's not Shake or, or Polite or Prezzo or whoever edits for Ludwig. Um, his name's Cole the Man. Um, one of the coolest editors I know, besides Quack. <laughs> um... He actually did a whole video on the story of um, me becoming like a Pokestuck speedrunner through like Ludwig. So um, I also have a video on it, but I think Coles does it does it does it better because he he he's very good with doing Photoshop and stuff. That was a sub five, by the way. I I paused like 18 times. I got sub five. Um, 
Yeah, he has a really good video on that. Yeah, Cole is really cool. I can't figure out how to get the first pineapple consistently. Um, there's a lot of edges that you have to like avoid, and there's like certain edges that you want to land on, right? Like, like there's um, there's a couple flat bits on the pineapple that you want to be hitting, and a couple like janky edges that you don't want to be hitting because you can easily just bonk from it. For the new viewers, Pog Champ. Yo, what up, Marsh? What's up, Power Bow? Oh, we got a couple raids, Power Bow. What the fuck are you doing? It's up so high on my followers list. What's up, Jack? <laughs> you know, we chilling. Big man Quack with the raid. Quack, I am now 100% um, offering one free coaching lesson. Um, you know, just hit, hit up my DMs, man. Um, I'll be happy to, to give you a free coaching lesson, you know. Hit my line, man. I got you. We'll get you. We'll get you up to. Uh, we'll get you up to past pineapples in no time. You know. Easily, easily. You have the potential. You got the skills now. You got the mechanics down. I mean, you're still playing one-handed, which is kind of cringe, but um, you know. We move. Okay. Well. You looks fine. Second one, yeah, second one's 50, 50 now. <laughs> one hand of the way to go. All right, chat, ready? I will, I'm going to, I'm going to reset. I'm going to do a quick gambit, ready? So I have two cameras, right? I have my shitty cam, this one, and I have my HD cam. I'm going to put this one, like, angled at my keyboard, right? And we're going to play one handed. It's, it's inverted. I can probably flip it vertical, ready? Hold on. Um... Transform. Flip vertical. Okay, perfect. It looks a little weird. In my hand. This is my left hand, but it looks like a right hand. I'm going to play the map one-handed like Quack does. And you're going to see the drastic difference in gameplay between me with playing with two hands and me playing with one hand. Because playing with two hands is literally the... It's, it's just like... You're not like... You're sep you're not separating your, your jump input and your rotation. Where did I put this, by the way? Where should I put this? Here? Under... I'm covering you guys. Sorry. XQCL. Um, you're literally separating. You're you're not separating jump and rotation inputs, right? So, you're you're putting you're delegating everything to one hand, which is like it's weird because like your thumb's doing all the jumping and your fingers are still doing the rotating. I don't play on keyboard. I play on controller, but I can beat the map on keyboard similarly fast, like on controller. But on my other hand's here, as you can see. I'm I'm playing with one hand. Oh, let's go! The fucking Islander scored. We win, baby. Oh god. Uh, like, I find myself not being able to differentiate my rotations and my jump inputs, and I, I just end up holding spacebar, which is, is very possible to beat the map like that, but I just don't understand why I would... Like, like I get it, it's like the default controls are, like, set up so that, like, one-handed, like, like a Valorant or some shit, but, like, even I, like, when I first started playing um, with keyboard, I immediately just went from, like, Two hand, like I would just use this and then switch it up, you know. I love holding spacebar. Why? It's literally only three keys. Why do you need two hands? Because your brain works better if you switch it up between two hands. That's like saying, oh, you only need a, you only need one hand to hold like a lacrosse stick. Why would you, why would you ever use two hands? It's like, because you have, like, why not use them at your disposal? You have two parts of your brain that could work. Let's fucking go. Islanders scored. They win. Going to game six, up with a 3-2 lead. If we win game six, we move on to the next round. I can turn this off now. Let's go. Let's go, Islanders. Put like shit the whole game. Come out with a 3-2 win in overtime. That's what we like to see. The second hand adds 50% efficiency. Yeah, exactly. One-handed is not the way. One-handed is the reason why 5 Cent has like probably like 300 hours in the game and doesn't have a like a top 10 time. <laughs> no, sorry to single you out there, five cent, but I'm a scoundrel. Okay, sure. Yeah, two hands. Two hands is the way to go, chat. If you're gonna play this game, please use two hands. 
Yeah, yeah. Five Cent was literally in a tournament and he was playing with one hand and drinking water with the other. It was kind of, it was kind of like a Chad thing to do, but like, I was like, are you serious? Play with two hands. Glenn suffered severe thumb damage from using one hand. <laughs> it's not that hard, but it's just like, why? It feels best. It only feels best because you've been doing that for for nine hours or 10 hours already, Quack. If you started off with two two hands, you'd probably be farther, number one. Um, and number two, you'd be saying like two hands is goaded. Why would you ever use one hand? I love holding spacebar. <laughs> Imagine not using a mouse clicker for jump. Yeah, I've, I have heard of people using this and then clicking the mouse for jump input. I have heard of that. Five cent is a gamer. I'm going to read chat and play too. Look, I can read chat and beat the map. Oh, see, I let go of jump there because my brain was like, you don't need to jump. I'm See, now I'm just going to hold space and beat the map. Oh, the four empires making an appearance. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know about the four empire chat, now you know. Now you know about the four empire. We got the whole army here. I know that, but I hate being wrong. Yeah, that's fair enough. I hate being wrong as well. I'm, I'm a fucking... If you don't know, Quack, I call myself an asshole all the time. I'm kind of an asshole, but uh, I appreciate the raid and I love watching the competition. Same with, like, Case. I feel like Case thinks I'm a dickhead, but I love Case. He's so fucking funny, but I just I just can't help but, like, shit on him <laughs> in, in fucking Pokestuck. It's just funny. So sorry, Case. I'm an asshole. Mouse only? Is that a thing? How would you even do that? Like, middle mouse button to, to jump and, like, left and right click to rotate? What, like, what are we talking here? My hypocrisy? Okay, I'm pretty sure like 90% of people would agree with me over playing with one hand. You're outnumbered, one-handers. I played- I was doing this one hand- I, I was playing one-handed while Quack was streaming before, and I did- I got a 951. But that was me playing like consistency, like no breaks. Oh, shit. Usually, uh, pausing is like a curse in Pogo stuff because you're just ruining your momentum. But I think that's that might be just like there might be some people who like work differently than that because whenever I pause, I just end up choking it as soon as I unpause. But some people just seem like Quack seems to be just, like just fine when he pauses, so I don't know. Might be a me thing. Ah, shit. Like, it's just so... I, my, all my focus has to be in my left hand. It's so, like, insanely... I don't, it's, just, it's just, why? Why would you ever do this to yourself? Oh, my God. Like, if I, if I, if I try to, like, feather a jump and do a short hop, I just... I end up confusing my, like, rotation with my jump input and just like fuck it up or just like bonk over and over but yeah the fact that you like willingly play like this is is insane it's like why why would you ever do that to yourself Yeah, that's how you do pineapples, Quack. One-handed. Oh shit, I was holding space. Palm skip for the people? Oh, I can do it. Nope, didn't get flip. Oh, oh. Alright, we got it. I'm not doing palm tree one-handed. What is that emote? <laughs> Dude, we have the best emotes in this chat, Quack. I have the best emotes, I swear. My mods, I, I put my mods in charge of emotes, and they just put together the most, like, shithouse emotes ever. <laughs> it's so stupid. One hand uh, to play the game, the other hand's for special needs, yeah. Your logic's okay, you heard that. We're weird for not using mouse. 
Case is very funny to bully. Yeah, but I, I hope he knows I don't actually like mean it. Like my chat, I shit on relentlessly, but I appreciate. Like I don't like hate anybody. You know, like I'm very, I'm very, I'm a very good heart. I just don't. I just can't help it like shitting on people. It's funny. You got mouse directions to turn left and right. New video idea. Yeah, that would, that would be so AIDS though. It would be so cringe. 9.51, good time. True. There's a top 100 player who's mouse only. That's ridiculous. M moving your mouse as left and right input, is that a thing? Oh, hey, Esseline, what's up? Uh, go to the four army. I'll probably try to end an next stream. If if it's not for you, it's not for you. You already put ten hours in on one hand. Like at this point, you're you're screwed. But I would recommend playing with two hands. Stream popping off. Hell yeah, we got the boys in chat. We got the boys in chat. If you're here right now, you're one of the boys. Check me. Link is lurking. <laughs> Link is lurking in my chat? Question mark. Imagine. Hey Link, it's good luck on Pokestuck, man. I hope you're I hope you're here to stay. You know. I hate all of my chat, you included? Hey. Pounded, brother. <laughs> Fair enough. I got an ad someone gift me. Hey, can we get a gifted for JD Roos? Celebrity in chat? Get up, ghost. Hey, what up, Roos? I'm alright. Swap the two hands? No, we gotta finish this run out on one hand, chat. No bitch, no, we're not bitch made. We can do it. You think I can write better if I use two hands? Honestly, I probably could with my shitty handwriting. I should switch to two-handed mode, honestly. Two-handed fucking writing? I'd probably be insane. Oh god. S recovered, saved. I think this is probably the hardest part with one hand, because you have to you can't full hop. You have to like You have to do a um Oh god. You have to do, like, a short hop in some way or another. Like, right here is, like, a short hop to do, get set up that flip, right? And then, like, these pillar jumps are, like, not full hops. That's why people struggle at this, because they just hold space bar and they expect to get it. Oh, God. Okay, we're goaded. Yeah, that, that probably took me the longest in my run before. We might actually set a new one-handed PB. Here, chat. Spine with a raw tier one. Thank you, Spine. Gifters, we raw tier one out here. <laughs> True. That's 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 the most hardcore. Watching fall at cliffs. All right, don't curse me. You just cursed me, bro. Now I fall. See, there it is. You cursed me. Psych, did it on purpose. Never mind. Now we're good. Oh god. I'm going back up this way. It's safer. Uh oh. Hold on, run it back, run it back. This is sketchy now. I'm out of rhythm. Alright, we're good, chat. We're good, we're good. Nothing to be stressed about. <laughs> Whoever said I'll fall at cliffs is cursing me. Oh god. I'm trying to do the fast strat. It's not really working. There we go. If we beat 10 minutes, I'll be happy again. 
We probably should. We're getting there. Oh god. Alright, we made it. One-handed, easy Y. See, it's not it's not the control setting, alright? It's the player chat. It's the player. It's all about the grind and the hours you put in. And that's why my vote's on Quack for winning the <laughs> the Pokestuck challenge of the Quack friend group, JD Roo's friend group, Blippy Case Henson friend group. And there we go, boys. That's one-handed mode. My fucking wrist hurts. God, why do you play like that? No wonder your hand gets tired. Jesus Christ. It is a handicap. It 100% is a handicap. I'm telling you, it is. I wish I could have helped you not do that from the rip. Talk to Plant and he says he's really happy that you guys are doing well and he misses you a lot. Nice. I hope he's doing well, too. I miss that kid. Good old plant. From the weed killer. Oh no. What was that so what was the time on that? I wasn't even watching. Now play one finger? Okay, yeah, let me do that. Ready? How do I how do I jump? How do I jump and use one finger? That's not possible. I saw it as Celine. I'm happy he's he's uh he's doing well. I miss him. Yeah, you got a sub, Jesse. Tell him we have a we have a ch we have a channel in my Discord now called Plant Come Home. <laughs> How do you play with two hands? Uh, like this. One for jump, and one for rotating, and it's like ten times easier. You just separate the jump input and your rotation input, and it makes it like twice as easy. But if you really want to see how I play, I do this chat <laughs> and hop over on a hop over on controller. This is how I actually have set like all my records and personal bests is using controller. Controller is the gambit. Mad loud. Oh, classic. Classic song. We all know and love. All right, for real though, map one kind of boring, so I'm gonna go play map two. One-handed controller? How? Right stick and oh, I can't. You need like multiple. I'd have to do like this type. Of, I'd have to do like this type of thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this cam off and go back to this. Boom. Well, that's, yeah, that's poke stuck with one hand. Plank, come home, Sag. If you ever want to send him a message to him, uh, just tell me because he would probably, he would probably like to hear from you guys. Honestly, we should make him like a, a post, like a digital postcard and send him it and everyone, everyone sign it and write a message. Wait, we should actually do that. We should actually make like a, like, like a little, like, like a shared Microsoft Paint document or some shit like that, and just all be like, "Yo, Plan, we miss you." I think that would be cool. Plant, by the way, is a is a Pokestuck speedrunner, um, who um, basically started failing in school because he was such a god gamer. Um, I think, and then. Um, yeah, he's been away for a while at like boarding school, I think, something like that. Um, and we miss him dearly. That's the basic gist of it. I'm not gonna go into crazy detail. Oh, I'm doing upside down. Hold on. 
Yeah, ba basically, if you've never seen Map 2 Upside Down, chat, this is Map 2 Upside Down. It's the same thing, but just flipped on its head. It's much harder than the other maps, but I'm used to it because currently I'm doing this, trying to get sub 4. This is like the current map I'm running. My rotations feel slow. I think it's because I have the graphics fully on. I've been turning the graphics off for this map recently. I don't know why, but but probably because I did it in the tournament and that's now what, like, what I'm used to. Oh shit, I fucked it up. But yeah, let's run the normal map too. Hey, what's up, Masketti? Alright, ready? This is map 2 chat. Oh my god, why do I have so many friends? <laughs> why why do I have so many Steam friends just chilling at the bottom? Jesus Christ, there's a, there's a whole army down here. Who are these people? I only have four people in my game. Kinda fucked that up, but it's fine. It was designed for upside down to be possible. Or did it just happen to work? Um, he he's added a couple little things that help you go from from like the top to bottom, like upside down. So like the duck head, um, the duck head has a gravity orb around it. So does like the dragon jump. So you basically have to do this like big jump where you wrap around the gravity. Um in order to get up and then at like wind up here like just above me there's a couple like there's a couple extra ambers for you to jump on so there's like he's he added a little bit to help you get up um but it, it's just since the map is laid out from like like a jump king map where you can go from where you just go up in one like basically column like one uh like one solid like rectangle um he was just like, yeah, someone said like, what if, what if you played the map like upside down? He was like, I can do that. And then he just like made it pretty much super cool. Super cool basically listens to the community a lot and adds like ideas and, st and stuff like on the fly. Um, for like someone was like, yo, what if, what if it was like Pokestock, but like it was slippery. Like, like the whole ground was like ice. And then he made ice mode map one. Uh, I fucked that up, but yeah. So now ice mode exists. Um, for map three, he literally was like, yo, if anyone has any, like, ideas for, like, jumps and stuff, um, like, make, like, a little drawing or something, or describe it, and I'll, I'll like, I'll, maybe I'll use some of your ideas. Like, he's literally taking suggestions from us in, in the Pokestuck Discord, um, for, like, jumps on the map, which is pretty cool. Like, Super is a really awesome developer and he like reaches out to the community he's so involved he's like always popping into people's streams and it's like pokestuck streams all the time like even if it's like not like someone new to the community that's like playing the game for the first time super cool will likely hop into chat um he's just eu so it depends on when you stream it like if i if i stream he's usually in my chat at like 5 a.m when i stream really late um because he's like waking up and eating breakfast and he's like yo what's good <laughs> i'm like yo what's up super cool It's doing a lot better and much happier. Nice. Good to hear. Shit. Probably gonna get like a five minute ish time. Maybe give or take, unless I choke the top part of the map. But yeah, I'm a little, I'm honestly a little rusty on map too. But w once I get back into it, it'll take me like a day or two, and then I'll be back up to like uh, getting pretty good runs, like close to my PB. I wait the day Super Coup hops in your chat. Uh, it's just if you're live with Pogo like all the time, he's for sure gonna hop in your in your stream. Um, just depends when you do it and like frequency and if super cool is like feeling like hopping in twitch chats that day, right? Right time right place type of thing
One day for de-rusting, one day for full sending, one day for perfecting. That's the strat. That's my three-day strat. That's my three-day Pokestuck strat. I usually PB in three days, right? One day to shake off the rust, get back into the swing of things, you know? Day two, we're, we're full sending it, making all the mistakes, you know? Getting getting in the rhythm of being fast. Day three, we're, we're hitting runs, baby. We're hitting runs. We had a couple raids, Hourglass. From the lovely Quack, James, and uh, Summage. Graphic colors to zero zero zero. Yeah, I, I black background for uh, when graphics are off. <laughs> He's staying there for a year, but probably will come back for vacations. Nice. Will he be allowed to game or not? He's gonna come back a change man. He's gonna come back like six foot seven, like chatted up with a beard and shit. Subaru confirmed that he's used one Pogo Core ID for the hard route. Um, but there are still a lot of ideas that were already implemented. Let's go. I love how Supercoo ex Yeah, yeah. If there's a glitch and you point it out, Supercoo will like fix it and explain what went wrong. It's pretty sick. He's like, he's just like... He's like, if you imagine a, what a game developer should be, he's like the perfect game developer. Like He's just so involved in his own community, like games community and so responsive to to stuff i mean granted the game's not like there's not like he doesn't there's, the game doesn't have like a million fucking average players like every day you know like there's a small community but he just does it right i got a pb that instantly fell the tree sag like a you got a you got the pineapple or something it's a quick palm tree waiting for day three uh, well, day one, two, and three have to be back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back streams, and, um, we're not there right now. Day by day, just, like, my plans change rapidly right now. Like, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be starting work soon. I don't have, like, I'm not, I'm not in a rhythm right now, right? I just graduated from college. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life for like a couple days until work starts um which is like wednesday so it's like in two days but i'm just like all over the place right now like i have like some editing work i have to do as well so that's gonna like interfere with some stuff i have like work obviously i have some stuff with armo that i'm doing i just was at my uncle's helping him like set up his house for rent this weekend in like the hamptons so it's been busy I haven't been able to, like, settle down and edit content and, you know, just, like, sh focus on stream ideas and stuff. Um, that being said, the streams haven't been bad. Also, fucking it's hot in here. I gotta, like, open the door. I fucked that up. This is like, this is like fast blocks, right? Like there's, oh, I fucked it up. But there's like slow blocks, which is like just playing it very safe. And then there's fast blocks, which I am currently screwing up. Okay, well, I fucked that up. God damn it. Blocks is definitely one of the trickiest parts in the run, especially if you're doing um, fast blocks. Because it makes it just all the more stressful. Ah, uh, six minute run. Kind of dog shit. We'll take it though. <laughs> Good night, Domi. Um, that's why I kind of wish the community doesn't get too big. It's not like it's gonna be like ever as big as like Warzone community. Relax, hero. Hit blocks last night. Let's go, Brayden. It's not like the uh, it's not likely the close knit community of speedrunners grows that much, hero. Yeah, yeah. Focus luck to the unstuckening tomorrow comes out. Is that your video, Five Cent? God damn it. Almost a clean run from Duck. 
Was it? Or are you is that you? Buy some age. Got raided? Yeah, what's up, Bob? It's Pokestock 2's official title leaked by Spine. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, I see, I see. I see what you mean. Alright, so yeah, that was a little that was a little demonstration of map one and two chat. Let's let's head back to upside down where uh, we're trying to set of sub four time currently. Dude, I, I, I literally was like, yo, let's skip this. I don't want to listen to the Sonic music. And then Sonic came came back on like on my stream playlist. God damn it. All right, so for this map, it starts off with this jump, which is insanely annoying, but it it works. And then this is blocks, right? This is what we just did when I was saying, like, oh, I do fast blocks. Except the blocks don't explode, um, and they stay in place. But you're doing them upside down. Uh, kind of fucked that up. I'll do a run through just to warm up, I think. Um, and then we'll start, you know, grinding out some runs. Doing some actual speed run grinding moments. I didn't miss any spines, right? Oh, Snack Muncher with the follow. Thank you, Snack Muncher. This is slime skip, you don't have to do that. Um, but it's just faster, I fucked it up. This map is definitely my most inconsistent, probably because it's the hardest. That, I mean, you know, it just makes sense. One to one ratio type thing. There we go, that's a better spin. Ah, I'm not rotating enough. All right, so basically my angle when I hit the ground after hitting the slime and coming back down is not I'm not I'm not pushing it far enough to the right, right? Okay, well, that's not what we're supposed to do. Like, you, you could go up to the left on that orb, but this is faster when you hit it right. There we go. That was far enough to the right, maybe a bit too far honestly, but you know, we overcorrect. We dial it in and then all of a sudden it starts to click. But yeah, these gravity orbs around the duck and then up here on the dragon we're not are not in the regular map two right but they are added in order to complete map two upside down and then there's like a, there's like one other spot where he added some stuff oh this gravity orb as well is not there so that's the, the three gravity orbs or gravity just circles gravity fields i guess you could say were added to help you beat upside down and then um the amber stuff i'll show you in, in a second when we get up there oh, i fucked that up so I try to do fast pillars, which is like the brain dead strat, but it's faster, so I do it every time, even if I fuck it up. Um, you can one jump this uh, mushroom to the vine, but I just didn't get the angle. This song is really loud, hold on. Good song, though. I'm leaving to study. Yeah, good luck on your APs, uh, Five Cent. A Five Cent has AP exams coming up. If you're, if you can relate, hit the follow button. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Strani thing to follow. Tat GG, I think to follow. I think I got everybody now. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm caught up. I'm caught up. Well, we're fine. But yeah, these are all the same, I think. Unless they were inverted. I think they might have been inverted in order to help you. The, the mushrooms, like, instead of being, like, right side up, they're now upside down and to, to help propel you upwards. I think, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they were inverted. Um, but this is all the same, you know. It's just bees, but upside down. This is the same, except there's no way... There's no, like, bee to help you, right? You just gotta... Try to send it up through. This is what we call B-hole. You know, classy. Um, these bees are the same. You don't go left here. You go up. And there's an invisible wall here that's kind of cringe. But I try to not to hit it unless I'm doing the other strat. Um, it just all depends on where I land on that jump. 
But yeah, th those two amber things down there that I just jumped on are all added to help beat upside down one as well. But the rest, I think from here on out is exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest is exactly the same as uh, the normal map. So yeah, just a couple like slight changes in order to help you like actually beat the map. Otherwise, it'd be like impossible. But yeah, upside down, upside down's all right. I I I used to not like upside down. Um, but I think after the after grinding for it for the tournament, um, I kind of like it. It's just really hard, which is fun. Like I I didn't like it because the jumps were like awkward and the heights were like all misplaced. But now that like the runs like more optimized, like the jumps and stuff, it kind of just feels like a difficult map, not like gimmicky and and uh. I mean this part's annoying as fuck, but it's not like it's not like gimmicky anymore where like the jumps are like all like weird heights. Yeah, basically you just go up there, you go back down, and then you have to like hold your angle to try to grab that wall. Um, and then you're up, and then you're home free. From here on out, it's just simple jumps, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no keezy. Gotta go all the way over to the left. Um, from here on this left wall, up to these blocks, over to the right, grab the ledge, and then up into the finish. Five minutes, six... That's actually not a bad run. Five minutes, six seconds. That's decent. World record's 330, but my PB is 410, so I'm not there yet. I don't think I'm going to push for world record on this map. I don't want... I don't, I'm, I'm going to go for map two world record. I think that would be satisfied with map two world record. Took physics and calc today. Kind of easy, not going to lie. Let's go. Good shit. Chem is scary, yeah. Doesn't America's schools cut open frogs and dissect them for educational purposes? Um, they used to. They don't, not really anymore. I didn't do that. I was in, like, honors class. I never took bio, I guess, but I don't think they do it in bio. Quit Pepe laughing. I'm totally gonna need to know the volume of the base to neutralize axis. I don't know what the fuck that means. You did that in AP bio? Yeah, so I guess so. I guess they still do do that. Um, Mr. Bob. Sounds pog, honestly. Quick anatomy lesson. <laughs> End of small squid. I remember doing like, we did like, we dissected like owl shit. But it was like, they don't shit, right? They have like these like little furry pe pellets that have like bones in them. It's not like, it's not like actual like smelly feces like we know, like a fucking human shit. It's just like this little, little like pellet that's like made of hair and shit um because it's like they process all the meat from the from the uh the rats and mi mice they eat and it, all that comes out is like the rat fur in a pellet and the bones so it's like it's like it's like little fucking fossil capsule like some kind of weird shit you would get in like one of those like vending machines outside like the barber shop as a kid not a vending machine like the little things where it's like the glass capsule you like spin the thing with the coin in it and then it comes out at the bottom Little hatch. You know, like a little, little figurine of like a superhero or something. It's like that, except it's like rat fossils, rat bones in owl shit. <laughs> it's like it's like the it's like the the caveman version of those little capsules. Are you guys too young to remember that? That's like some ancient shit. I feel like I've never I haven't seen one of those things in, in a long time. Ah. Oh. Did you eat it? No, we didn't eat it. They at the dollar store? Uh, okay, all right. See, Hero knows, because Hero is like, um, 13. He's, he's, he's been close to childhood, all right? He could, he could reach out. He's still in childhood, honestly. I was going to say he could reach out to childhood and grab it, but he's still in childhood. I'm a boomer, Chad. I'm older than Quack. But not that old. I just graduated from college, so I'm, I'm 21 years of age. But I'm pretty sure Quack is younger than me. Oh. I, can't, I hate whiffing that. Apparently in my sister's class lots of years ago, um, they were supposed to dissect cats. But since the teacher liked cats, they did rats. Rat jam. 
cats, bro? What? That's that's like fucked up. Why? Hero's a cultured lad. I think in college surgeons practice on pigs. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. That's like that's okay, I guess. I mean that's not it's not that weird. What are pigs even used for on farms? Just like bacon and ham, right? Like they don't fucking do anything like a like a horse or something. Like you can ride a horse, but you can't ride a pig. Quack raid? Yeah, we got a quack raid. People peepus pogus. Right, like, like you don't, like, a cow maybe, like, grazes and cuts her grass for you. Like, a pig just kind of rolls around in the mud and eats a lot. They don't really, like, produce any good. Like, a chicken produces, like, eggs and stuff like that, right? Cows are, I mean, uh, pigs are kind of just, like, useless. So, I'm fine with the uh, dissection of pigs for surgeons so that we can live, you know? They can save our lives. Sheeps have wool and stuff, like... Pigs? What do pigs have? They just... Their meat is just like bacon. And ham. And pork. Pork chops. Pork chop sandwiches. Monka axe. All right, good run, chat. Focusing. BRB. My brain is leaving the chat room and entering the pogo stuck. Basically, chat, my streams are just me talking to chat until I see that, like, minus three right there. And then I just go into focus mode. And then I just, like, I, I'm, I'm, like, cringe. I choked. And then we go back to talking. That's currently what my streams are. Unless I'm playing another game with viewers or something. Never mind, I looked at chat. I'm, 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 I'm capping. I just looked at chat instinctively. Did not the one jump angle we were looking for. Bonked. Cool. Okay, didn't get the angle again. Oh, we take those. Oh, oh. We, we take those, honestly. We take that. Um, I don't think we're going to PB because that was very slow. Like four jump divines instead of one jumping, which is kind of cringe. But well, I'll, I'll go for it. I'll at least see the next split, you know. Good RNG. Oh, plus three. Honestly, it's possible. I can save a lot of time between here and the next split. Okay, not anymore. Oh. There goes that. There's a house nearby that has a pet pig. He was knocking on the door the other day, bro. Mountain Andy. Jesus Christ. I lives on a farm. I don't think I've ever seen a pig in real life. Eh, maybe like a petting zoo. But do they have pigs at petting zoos? Can't say I've ever been to a farm and seen like anything more than like horses, cows, or deer. There's not deer on farms. I've seen deers in, in like the woods. I still can't consistently do the upside down opening. Neither can I, man. It's just like it happens or it doesn't. It's There's no consistency. Unless you're rain or something. Think you're gonna try Knockout City? Play a few matches. Seems fun. No idea what that is. So like a new game or something? Indie game? Deer? Yeah, I just see in the, in the group chat. You talking about that picture hero? a dodgeball game interesting would it be like a game that i would be goaded at or would it just it would just it's just fun i'll play it like off stream with viewers maybe see how it goes maybe bring it to the stream for some illinois thursdays or something
Okay, this is really good pace. Minus six? I'm cracked. Never mind. I suck. Fast pillars, besides the first part. Ah, I didn't get one jump. Oh, didn't bonk though. Okay, never mind. I cursed myself. Ah, this is cringe. This is cringe. I'm resetting. Minus six and I just throw. Deer all over my area. So many people hit them when driving and total their car. Yeah, they're fucking heavy apparently. They fucking total cars. I have no idea if there's a skill gap. Fun to mess around, though. Maybe we'll try it out. It's also map one runs. That, that's a fair point. I will change that. Sub for grind. Oh, caps lock is on for some reason. Sub for grind. Good call, Jigman. This is why we keep it around Jigman. He just he just has good good information. He's, his attention to detail is immaculate. Should be in a, like a like an interior designer with that attention to detail, my man. I think the bat minus six was like the fastest I've done in the beginning in so long. I just like hit everything clean. Must I must have? Otherwise, like it would not have been fucking. Like I've been getting a lot of minus threes. Minus six I've never hit in a while. Modman X. Hey, maybe someday. Why don't you save your green splits? What do you mean? Save my green splits. They only save if you PB, right? So like your PB splits save in the top right, but... Do you mean like, why don't I like, you know, remember them so that I can like, be like, oh, this is my best ever split, like save my own gold splits? Um, I'm just lazy, I don't... I don't feel like being like, that sweaty. Let's just say either, either PB or I don't, you know? There's a setting for save green. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what that does. You talking about in the top right, like when you after you reset, it'll save like your green splits, that sort of thing. Minus four. I mean, we're speedy still. Kind of schmoovin' today, not gonna lie. Uh-oh. And uh, why do I keep fucking that up, though? That's, that's two in a row. Not what you want to see. There's the one jump vines. Why can't I do that before? Okay, well, even though I my split says I'm like minus four, right? I just fucked up like cogs twice. So this is gonna be an interesting split. We'll see if we're faster because I was one jump vines and fast pillars. So we'll see. We'll see what we got here. Okay, just whip the wall. Plus one. Okay. It's doable. PB is doable. 
PB's on the table. Okay, I'm going to stick on this one because I didn't land correctly on the B. So not completely fast Bs, but we did get a decent cycle. Snag the wall. We're good. I always try to go for the flip there, and I never get it. And when I do, I just forget what to do after I get the flip, because I'm just so used to not getting the flip. Okay, weird bounce. I got locked into place there. I can't get off this top leaf. Get off. Minus three. Could have been like a minus six to nine if I didn't fucking get stuck in that leaf. Oh my god, that was so close. I could I actually almost just bonked. Minus eight. That's a fake split though. Come on, get over to the wall. Oh my god, I'm just throwing away my minus three. I feel like my endings are like so hit or miss. They're either like the smoothest shit ever, or it's like... <sighs> but they're so smooth, or I just like throw over and over and over again. Four seconds above my PB. Four seconds above my PB. I mean... I mean... That's a good run. Solid run. A lot of mistakes, though. A good head on his shoulder is true. You can manly save your game splits. Really? Why? Wait, why would you do that, though? Make me mom of Discord because I'm always cleaning after you boys. Mod check. <laughs> what? what are you on about? Solid run. Not a PB though. We're 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 still hungry. Make me mom. No. Get earn your custom Discord role through uh <laughs> through channel points, and then we'll talk. I had fucking. I had this goaded burger place around here. It's like a local place, so I can't like say the name. But uh, fucking. I got some indigestion. Gotta get myself some Pepto Bismol. No, I'm. I'm not doing that. Screw that. Oh god, spun the wrong way. Recovered. I didn't get a flip. Okay. Well, nice to follow Kilroy. Appreciate it. My guy. Spine, that's a lot of text. Hold on. I'm going to have to give me a second. I've got to find a good spot to pause after I choke a run. Too low. Even if you get the role with 50k, I'm I'm not going to consider you the Discord mom or mom in general, not even just Discord. I was gonna drop my 50k to be the dad, but I don't want to be tied to the moms. <laughs> Why my son Shadow I always know? Just just to make it Shadow's dad then. Just be the grandpa, yeah. And then you can pass it off that the grandma's deceased. That does make Shadow the dad, though. Yeah, Shadow's his grandson. Okay. 
Need some water to get easy PB. True. Where's my water? Wait, where's my water bottle? I'm dehydrated, chat. I need to get my water bottle. I don't know where it is. I think it's in my room or upstairs, maybe? Hold on, be right back. This is the Jigman difference, all right? Jigman's like, oh, I see he hasn't drank any water. Let me hit up with a hydrate. And then I realize I'm dehydrated. I haven't drank any water. It's the Jigman difference. Stop DMing me. Calc's DMing me, telling me to fucking make- Fucking get your, earn your Discord roll, alright? Get out of here, rat. Alright. Back in, baby. Hearthstone to lead the way. In terms of music choice. Yeah, I know- I know, um... Quack got raided by Linkus, I think, right? So if there's some speed running speed running lurkers out there, and you like to like to see a like to learn about another kind of speed running game, um, there's three main um, like they're called I call them like rage games. All right, I think like Ludwig calls them like the Fadian style games because like the first game that came out in this sort of style is like um, called Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Um, yeah, so it's basically just like one long climb to the top, and it's all on you and your skill of the game to, uh, succeed, right? Um, then there's Pogo Stuck and Jump King, which have, like, the biggest of the, uh, you know, like, speedrunning communities, and, like, in terms of, like, rage games, all the others are kind of, like, either gimmicky or knockoffy. Like, the best ones have solid mechanics that have depth and, and, um... The, the depth in terms of like, there's a big skill gap between the best like 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 when you first start and like the the world record holders, right? I think Pogo Stuck is the game with the biggest skill gap, and also it's like easily the most polished. Um, I guess Jump King's a close there, but Pogo Stuck's being updated all the time with new game modes and obviously like new map coming out. Um, Jump King just has the three maps and that's it. But I mean, Jump King is good. But I think Pokestuck is easily the most polished um, and most fun. Just because I think the movement in this game is really, really, really good. Like once you get once you get used to it and you start like learning all these skips and stuff, just getting good and getting consistent is uh, I don't know it's so reward. And then you like when you make friends in the Discord and you start like you know trying to one up each other's times and stuff, it just becomes a, a whole. You'll put a lot of hours into the game. Ah oh, shit. I caught you, buddy. Mama. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. There's a huge skill gap just between when you start and when you finish. Yeah, like, like when you start, you will literally be like, fuck this game, I don't know how to control this idiot. And when you finish, you'll literally be like, like, oh my god, I fucking, I'm, I'm actually good at the game, I beat the map. And then if you keep playing, you'll just get more and more consistent now that you, like, own the muscle memory of, and, like, the the intel of, like, the route and stuff. Um, and there's, like, maps just keep getting more and more optimized, especially the newer ones. Like, Map 2 Upside Down has been, like, um, been optimized so much more because of, like, the fight for world record, right, between Rain and that guy right now. Um, his name is that guy, yes. Um, and there's just, like, competition that just keeps pushing, like, the boundaries of how fast you can do these maps. And it's, it's evolved a lot. Like, when I started going for, like, top 10 map 1, world record was, like, uh, or 
at least top 10. I don't remember world record specifically. It's like a 309 maybe. Um, now it's like a 252 or some shit, the world record. So that's like insane. Um, top 10 though was like a 353. And I beat 50, 353 and got top 10. And now top 10 is, is like, I have a 307. I'm not even top 10. I'm 14th. So it's just like, I think after map 2, um, the game grew a lot. Like there was a lot of new pogo players that came into the scene. Which was pretty cool to see. Um, I didn't start playing this game to like six, seven, eight months after it came out. Um, and Map 2 came out uh, like August, and I started playing in November of the year before. So I was playing Pogo for like like nine months before Map 2 came out, pretty much. Or for me, like uh, seven or eight. So I've been here for a while, but I haven't been here since the beginning. Which is weird to me, cause like I'm like, I'm like a staple in the community, I guess you could say now, and I, I haven't even been been here since the beginning, like like Jake has or like, you know, Fuser or Izumi, even though it's like more Japanese community with Izumi. I just have made the most Pokestock content out of anyone in the in the uh, Discord. I'm always posting PBs or like challenge ideas and stuff. Like, I beat the map with a steering wheel controller. Uh, I beat the map with a Guitar Hero controller. Map 1 and 2, that is. Map 2 with a, with a steering wheel controller was, like, impossible. That shit was hard. Uh, but I did it. it. took me, like, 10 hours. After, like, already have like having, like, a top 10 time on the map, a steering wheel controller took me 10 hours. So, you can imagine how fucking hard that was. She was insane. Yeah, yeah, the game gets less frustrating, more fun. <laughs> Witch Kai, Papega. Practice Danler for a bit when you can. Uh, I don't need to practice it. It's just I just have to like focus and and because the angle is really specific. But I know what it is. It's just it's just, like the more I do it, the more I'll be consistent. I don't think I need to practice it though because I already know what to do. Yeah, the, so the Guitar Hero controller was like had some. It was like registering an input that was making my character emote, so I, it would just like stop rotating and start emoting. So I like spent a lot of time just getting frustrated by that and figuring, trying to figure out what the problem was. And I figured it out and then beat the map really like in like 34 minutes. Um, and then map two, I didn't have that emote problem anymore, right? So um, I was just playing solidly the whole way through and beat map two in 24 minutes with the with the Guitario controller first run. Guitar Hero controller was surprisingly easy. Steering wheel was very, very hard. Oh, shit. I have to pee really badly. Uh, I would have guessed the steering wheel would work pretty well since you'd have more control over turning. It's actually the the it's actually less because. So okay, how do I explain this? I can break out the actual steering wheel. I can't set it up because it takes a long time to set up. Believe it or not. Okay. So this is the steering wheel I used. It's like the Logitech G, whatever the fuck. I'll switch the cam. Right, so the thing with steering is that there's a threshold called the dead zone same as like an analog stick which is basically like it's basically a setting on your um controller where it, it's like it, it determines the how do i explain this when you angle your control your analog stick like left or right it's the dead zone determines how far you have to push the stick for an input to start inputting right so like if my dead zone's really low any slight touch like this this left and right will will input a, like a turn right but if it's really high i have to go farther to to make the the analog stick press so the dead zone on the steering wheel is a little different because it's either if it's really low the dead zone would be like this and this would be like spin you and there's no like there's no like acceleration in pogo stuck right like it's either if the dead zone's really low this would be full speed spin to the right, and this would be full speed spin to the left. Or I would change the dead zone, and this and this would be nothing now, 
and this would be full speed spin to the right, and this would be full speed, full speed spin to the left. There's no, like, gradual acceleration of the spin speed, um, because it wasn't designed for steering wheel, obviously. There's, there's no, like, there's no... You get what I'm saying? So I played basically on the slightest dead zone, uh, like, the, the smallest dead zone, so that, like, I, I was, like, turning a little bit more than, like, I needed to, but, like, this would be right, and this would be left, and then... Um, I tried to get the foot pedals to work as the jump key, but it didn't really work because the way the foot pedals work, it's like, it's trying to read it as like an analog stick press. Like analog stick up and down would be like foot pedal down for gas and foot pedal up um, would be analog stick back. For, or and like the brake is like the opposite stick or some shit. So that didn't really work because you can't really bind an analog stick to jump input. So I was just using um, either like, I was using either this button, the little paddle shifter, or I was using the A button or like one of these to jump. So I couldn't really get the foot pedals to work. But I was it was basically like my thumb was overextending onto the controller in the middle, right, to, to hit the jump button. And then it was like slight left, slight right to rotate. And like think about all the jumps in map two where you have to like over rotate and then rotate back to to get a flip and then boost off. So I would literally if you watch the video, I'm literally like focusing like right here trying to go like left full and then back right to like flick a flick a like a boost jump like get the boost number one and flick back to the to the other wall so it just ended up being like insanely hard um yeah i try to explain I, I hope that makes sense I don't, I don't know how to explain dead zone inputs that well i, I, I kind of fumbled my words a lot um but yeah the steering wheel is definitely like insanely hard <laughs> like I wish that video did a lot better than it did because it fucking sucked to make. It was so it was ten hours of, of just. I know I can beat the map. I've I'm a previous world record holder with a controller, but with a steering wheel, it took me ten hours. Like it was so frustrating. Ah, <sighs> because I was stuck at the top for most of it too. Like blocks was like impossible. The it's definitely a frustrating one, but it's good. It's it's, um, it's a proud video I have. Um, I could try to pull it up. I, I was, like, losing my mind. During it. Actually, I'm not gonna pull it up. If you want to check it out, it'll be in the Pogo Stuck playlist over on my YouTube channel. Exclamation point YouTube. I have a lot of content there. I post pretty regularly. Um, Pogo Stuck videos. Random, uh, game playthrough videos from my Twitch channel. Uh, the thing that my most recent video is my Pokemon X playthrough that was kind of just chill. It was more like a chill like playthrough, but I just took out a bunch of like uh, random funny moments or stupid shit that I said during the playthrough and compiled into one short 10 minute video, uh, which I thought it was decent. It's not my best work, but I thought it was a decent video for the for what for the footage I had to work with. It was probably the best I could have done with with uh, making an entertaining video for my Pokemon X playthrough. But there's plenty of good videos on there from Pokestuck and um, my senior films on there. It's the channel trailer that I, I made it. I made it for um, let's see. I made it for uh, for college. It's called Crossroads. Um, bunch of Pokestuck PBs right here. I started rapping while I was playing while I was doing runs. Um, in in this one, here, let me show you. I did Minecraft. I beat. I got a sub hour run in Minecraft. Um, which was pretty hype. My Minecraft speedruns. Uh, this is this is telling you everything you need to know about map three without the trailer and stuff. Uh, I did a raft video where we played through the entirety of raft and I edited it down to one 40 minute video. And there's like seven or eight people on a raft at most at a time. This is a really funny video. I really like this video. Uh, we did a beer tier list or the main video that we did for that was um, doing taste tests, like kind of like Ludwig trying to taste the difference between cheeses. Um, let me move my camera so you can see the thumbnails. Or I'll go to my actual channel already. So yeah, down here, this is the beer taste test video I was talking about. Raft, Pokestuck stuff, Minecraft sub hour. Uh, a little bit of monkey ball. Some 2v2 gaming challenges with uh, some streamer friends of mine. I did a Minecraft SMP that lasted like a month or two. That was really fun. Uh, we, this is, this is the first ever time I ever speed run Minecraft with my friends, and it was a fucking mess besides m my POV, where I did it in, like, two and a half hours or something. 
that was pretty funny this is like a music music stream music uh listening to stream pretty good uh i don't know i'm proud of my youtube channel it's come a long way from when i was a kid <laughs> i don't know i really i really like uh some of my videos obviously i did this is the fucking christmas album shit like the ludwig shit that was funny. This video's goaded. Everyone that that's a fan that, that like like um a fan of my YouTube and the Discord likes this video. It's this IRL content. Me and the boys went out for a late night Wendy's run. Um That one's a very good representation of me and my fucking idiot friends. <laughs> good Mario Party videos for sure. So yeah, there's a bunch of good content to watch on there. Um and more to come. I got a lot of footage to to uh to edit, so consider dropping a sub on the youtube boys all right let's get back into some runs put the music back on quick hazy maze cave gambit hazy maze cave the goat any rant tonight or sea of thieves uh maybe later yeah i'd be down i might i'm gonna play pogo for at least another like hour and a half for sure uh, damn who raided? We had Quack, uh, with, a like a 150 viewer raid, something like that. 120, maybe? Uh, I can look up, maybe. One thirty-nine. Party 139. Quack being, um, Aatrox editor. Um, Stan's cord. Any Tubbers tournament. Frequent participant. He was actually, um, he had a Linkus, if anyone knows Linkus 7. The Wind Waker slash, um, well, I know he's doing a lot of Minecraft speedruns right now. He does a lot of, like, videos with Small Ant and stuff. He, very big guy. Very pog streamer. I, I love watching Linkus streams. I lurk a lot in that chat. Um, he was in Quack's chat playing Pogo Stuck before. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was pretty fucking cool. Um, but yeah, I was watching hockey and watching Quack the whole night, basically. And then when I uh, decided to go live, because I was already playing Pogo Stuck, so I was like, I might as well just go live and continue watching this hockey game while playing Pogo Stuck mindlessly in the background, so... Should we set the sub for chat? Should we just do it? Should we just send it and do it right now? I'm literally on the doorstep, like, right? Like, one solid, just like, turn my mind off, turn my voice off, just focus session gets me sub four. Like, I literally have so many mistakes in my run. It's just like, it's not even, it's not even a question whether I, I it's gonna happen. Like, it's gonna happen. The fact that I'm like, I get close sometimes when I'm like full on having a conversation with chat is like insane. Like I, I was getting, I got minus six before. That's like the fastest I've done in the beginning in so long. Um, and I was literally just talking to chat the entire time mindlessly playing. Like I didn't even realize that I was that going that fast until like the minus six popped up. And then I was like, oh shit. Like, I definitely have the the most muscle memory for map 2 upside down right now because it's the one I've been playing the most. You're gonna get a new PB because of the water? True! Now that I'm hydrated, my brain can operate at a full level and I can get a PB. You ready? Tomorrow, I'm getting fucking sushi for dinner. My parents were like, oh, you're graduated. It's official. Let's get dinner tomorrow. I was like, okay, whatever. So I'm getting sushi. 
I actually love sushi. I'm a big seafood guy. Love a good grilled salmon. Love some good hot lobster with butter, melted butter and stuff, lemon juice and stuff. Love sushi. Didn't rotate enough. Never mind. Got it. Sketchy though. I think I extra jumped there. I, I always forget. I don't know how I forget, but I forget. I didn't ret I didn't get a good angle on the oh for fuck's sake, get up there. I didn't have a good angle on the cog or on the on the pillar that rotates. This is an L. That's Seawis? Hello? No, that's cogs. Maybe. Oh, for fuck's sake. Case is playing bean battles? Is he live? I love bean battles. Oh, he is live. <laughs> bean battles is goaded. My Switch is arriving on the final day of school. Let's fucking go. Uh, the Switch is a POG console. I just, I don't know. The games are like strictly like, if I had friends, I'd play them a lot. Like if I, if I had friends that were into Nintendo, I would play them a lot. Cause obviously I have, I have some friends, you know, I'm not a lonely chat. Well, I am lonely, but I'm not like, I have friends. Um. And we mostly play, like, fucking Mario Party if we're ever going to play anything Nintendo. And that, we just play the old ones, not even the new ones. Like, I have Smash Bros, and I think Smash Bros is hype. But playing alone is just kind of, like, cringe. I have Mario Kart. That's also pretty fun with friends. But yeah, if I'm, if I'm gaming with the boys, it's going to be, like, Valorant or something. angles had my thing like literally the edge we raid me quack whenever my family gets sushi i just get the wings the wings well like the place you have has wings and sushi it's i never like sushi don't even like seafood you're literally from the mountains sushi is basically raw seafood well yeah but it's it's taste there's different it doesn't taste like just like fish right like more to it. The sauces and stuff. Texture of sushi? It's not that bad. But it's fair enough. I don't know. I feel like the sushi I eat isn't like... I'm not like... It's not like chewy like it's I'm eating something raw, right? It's like... I don't know. The only one I can, I can kind of get that with is like salmon avocado. Because like that one, you literally could just like feel the chewiness of the fish. But... I don't know. My favorite spicy salmon rolls. Those are goaded. I 100%ed World of Light. So did I. It only took like eight hours. Eight hours? Shouldn't take that long. Could you do it on hard or something? Sushi is busting. I ate six pieces of sushi, salmon sushi at one time. Me and the boys, fucking on, on who, like if someone's birthday, we treat that person to like this endless sushi buffet place and we literally all just gobble like seven rolls of sushi. It's crazy. Like that place hates us because we literally like lose the money every time we go eat there. Because like you, pl you play like one, you pay like one flat price, right? And then it's like all you can eat sushi. We literally just get like six massive plates of sushi. Not all at one time, obviously. Like we keep going until we're all full. And, like, they charge you on, like, every sushi piece of sushi you don't eat. And we always finish the plate. Like, we never... Like, even if we're, like, max capacity full as all hell, we always fucking finish the plate. 
And we end up getting like three or four, three, three to three to six, I would say. Six on a good day. I think the one time we hit six. Full, full ass plates of sushi with like multiple, multiple rolls on each one. Like these are like big ass plates, not like just like your average dinner plate. Like a big square platter of just like fucking a million rolls of sushi. And we go through like six of those. And then we get like the ice cream, bunch of appetizers. And we, that place literally loses money every time we go there. It's insane. Like other people, it's like, oh, I'll have like one or two rolls of sushi, like whatever. And they fucking skamaz them because they're playing like 25 bucks for a flat rate. We pay, we go there, we fucking pay 25 bucks each and just like eat out the fucking entire stock they have. Come on, get through the fucking gap. Okay, well. Sushi's better when soft. That sushi's recycled. All you can eat buffets are the gambit. Yeah, that's facts. Especially if you're like fucking four dudes in your 20s who have endless fucking appetites. Like Golden Corral when I was a kid. We used to go there, like, when we go to, like, visit my grandparents in Florida, they would, like, treat us to Golden Corral, which isn't very, like, fancy, I guess you could say, but it was just a quick gambit because we would just fucking eat a shit ton of food as a family. And, uh, fucking shit's goaded. I, like, nowadays, I feel like Golden Corral's kind of trashy, but back then, in, like, the early 2000s, Golden Corral was kind of a fucking the schmove. Golden Corral was kind of sick. My parents have to open the savings account for sushi. <laughs> I can eat a lot of food and I can still go for the kid price. That That's fair. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> Check me. Can't wait to be like fucking like over 65 so I can get like the senior discount and just go fucking eat mad food. Quick gambit. I'm gonna take an advantage of every senior discount there's ever been. If I, if I once I get over 65, like no shot in hell, I don't get hell of shit for being a senior. I'm taking a full advantage of being old. Oh, what the fuck! One time I ate two Domino's bacon and cheese pizzas. That's psychopathic. That's so much grease, bro. Bacon and cheese. What'd you say? Bacon and cheese pizzas? That's like the greasiest pizza combination you could get, probably. My stomach would, like, like you're probably younger, so your stomach is, like, fine after that. My stomach would literally be destroyed after that. I had, like, one fucking, like, quarter pounder with cheese and fries today and my stomach was like rumbling afterwards granted it wasn't like your average like mickey d's um it was like some sweat burger place but it still kind of fucked me up not that it stayed in my stomach okay fair enough that makes more sense What's up, Neonic? It's Jigman. What's up, Jigman? Sometimes I just fall on a rhythm where I just can't do the speed getting part. There we go. Viewers, yeah, what's up, Spool? You know, we're chilling. Nothing, nothing new, you know, around here. You know what I'm saying? Tap my sensitivity up. One, one, one peg. 
I'm actually also gonna do this. The game just gets like one ounce smoother. I just get like fucking frames after turning the background rendering off. Oh my god, spinning now. Spinning at max velocity. Oh, God damn it. I tried the slightest touch and I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, bad cycle. I love spicy food, even though my mouth can't handle it that, that much. I had, like, chipotle. I got, like, the medium sauce, bro. Uh, sometimes I get the hot sauce. And, like, that one usually, like, fucks me up a little bit. But it's usually just tasty. The medium sauce has never burned my mouth. And I just, like, I had the medium sauce, and my mouth was, like, on fire. And I have no idea why. Like, I don't know what was up with my fucking tongue two days ago when I had that fucking medium chipotle sauce, and it was killing me. But... I don't know. I really like spicy food. You should try the hot ones challenge. Mm, I literally, I'm, I'm like a casual spicy food eater. I cannot fucking do the sweat hot sauce. I would die. I like the spicy flavor. I don't like it, the spiciness just for burning myself, you know? I don't like, I don't like being in a restaurant and like, having my shirt be soaked because I'm sitting there dying and sweating. I used to go to like Buffalo Wild Wings to like watch sports and eat wings with my boys when I was in high school. And I would be fucking, I'd be chilling there. Like I one time I like went up from like the normal like mild sauce. Uh, and I was like, I was like, I'm never doing this again. Like, I was literally just, like, dying. I'm trying to sit there, have a good time, watch some sports. All of a sudden, I'm fucking, like, chugging down sprites. Trying to save myself. Oh, <laughs> cringe. I, I got, like, a weird rotation there where I couldn't, like, whip it back. Oh no. Uh. Match festival, what's up? What's up, baby funks? I do the sweat hot sauce and it doesn't burn my tongue. All right, chat. It's a rule. It's a All right. For, for reference, this is the Wii boxing theme, right? The results screen theme. And every time it comes up in my chat, I am legally obligated to start spitting some bars. So if I my freestyles are complete dog shit, please do not hold it against me. Uh, I am not a lyricist or a miraclist. Um, I'm just an idiot. So ignore it if you're like cringing out of your mind at my terrible bars. But now I gotta stop focusing on the run and start spitting bars, otherwise my chat will be angry for the next week. AKA Hero. Thanks for the raid yesterday? Hey, no problem. I used to go to buff- wait, 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 I fucked it up, fucked up. I fucked up the entry, hold on, I gotta, I gotta focus.
Buffalo Wild Wings. It's a pretty fun thing to watch sports with your guys. When I chill with the guys, my time gets pretty jive. And we go for a dive. After we get drinks at the bar, and we go see some stars in the night sky. When we go lay down on the field, we're gonna hit the sign that says yield with our baseball mitts. Mm -mm. It's kind of like target practice. And I like target practice. I don't know what rhymes with target practice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm, yeah, when we used to drink outside the brink, aka the clink, mm, 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 mm. we go to the jail and we go hit the target practice sign. I don't know where to go with this. How is this guy not signed? Oh, Roche claps in chat. Hero with the nodders. Everyone's like poggers. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, yeah, Pogo got the shotgun boosts, and I got the Yeezy boosts, but I'm just broke. Just kidding. I don't have Yeezy boosts. I actually wear some Nike Roshis, and they call me Yoshi because I go blam, blam, pam. <laughs> That's a terrible Yoshi impression because I have depression. JK, I am pretty happy in my life. I think I would, I would say. I start work on Wednesday because I need to go make a bank and then move to Dank. Uh, I'm going to maybe Texas because, you know, that's fucking, it'd be cool to live in Texas, you know, it'd be a little fun. Because uh -huh. then I could go hang out with Ghost and he can be my host when I go hang out in his, like, house or whatever, apartment. Uh. Haven't heard from Rose tonight. Wonder if she wants to play Mario Party. But I kind of don't want to play Mario Party because she crashed the game like seven times yesterday. Fucking rap bitch. <laughs> uh, playing Pogo Stuck. I don't give a fuck. If I PB. Mm. Got the seagull on my head. Wondering if he's dead. But he's flapping his wings. Yeah. He's got some flappy wings. And I like to eat wings. And I go slap the ting. Alright, that's it. That's the bars. Alright, a little weak today on the bars, honestly. A little weak. A little weak on the bars today, not gonna lie. Those are a little, a little, a little shaky, a little shaky. Alright, my bars aren't great. I don't I am not thinking I'm not thinking straight. Oh, bars. My bars are my bars are a little 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 janky. I do the sweat hot sauce that doesn't burn my tongue. You're you're inhuman. Meeting habanero salsa right now. It's at 350k soul skill on second hand spicy food. Yeah, you're 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 good with it. See, I have like half a Spanish tongue and half a half a half a like European tongue. So like half of me can handle the spice and I like it. It's like acquired to my taste, but then my European size is just like no spicy food, no, keep away. So it's like a it's a dilemma I have. If all wild, wild wings didn't have such a bad price, I would enjoy it. Yeah. It's pretty expensive, I guess. I don't really remember. Chat cover your ears, muting tab, oh no. Someone call the fire department. Hey, my man's fine. H hyping me up. That's what I like to hear. You always gotta get jive in there. Jive is a great word to rhyme with, okay? Jive is a necessary word to throw in the bars. Target practice. Mario party? Nah, probably not tonight. I mean, maybe if you don't crash the fucking game, Rose. That Yoshi line sold me. <laughs> Let's go. 10 out of 10? Hey, you guys are too nice. Yeah, we got raided. Great news? What's the great news? Rat. Hold on. What is this clip? Call me Yoshi. Hold on. And they call me Yoshi. Because I go blam. Blam, pam. <laughs> That's a terrible Yoshi impression. 
Oh, you can get the bar afterward. What I say after that? And I have depression. Just kidding. I'm very happy. <laughs> you like the Jack my Yoshi impression? Was that good? I would say it's pretty good. School for me ends tomorrow. Let's fucking go. 69 days of summer. Actually better than your toad? Okay, my toad is good. Chat, my toad impression is good. Baby Funks thinks it's bad, but it's good. I promise you. My toad impression is, is goaded. I'm the toad master. Cap. My toad, my toad impression, when I hit the right note, it's crazy. It's like, it's like you're listening to the game. Yeah, hit me up. Sign me up, Nintendo, bro. I'm, I'm a cracked voice actor. Except uh, the Yoshi, the actual, like, Yashi is kind of hard. That's probably, the, that's probably what I'll struggle with. But Toad? Toad, I could easily be the voice actor for. I got a fucking cold. I hate it. I haven't been this BS since, like, 8th grade. I haven't gotten sick all year besides, like, the second vaccine fever I had. School for another 20 days? Uh, if I were still in high school, I would have the same thing. My high school ends in, like, mid, like early to, like, mid-June. It's cringe. That New York system. But we start in, like, September, so... Get fucked, those of you who start in August. Yeah, I just graduated from college, though. I'm I'm officially done with school for my life. Entire life, no more school. Feels good, man. Hasn't settled in. Hasn't sunken in yet. But next year, when it's like October and September, and I'm not in school, and I'm just like chilling still, it's gonna feel. It's gonna be fucking like crazy. <laughs> it's gonna hit me. I'm gonna be like, let's fucking go. I don't have to go to school. First one, maybe get one, and then I got a cold, or it's still a vaccine. Eh. Well. You'll live. You'll be alright. You'll be alright, champ. Yeah, basically, basically, chat, I have a, a a YouTube playlist on my YouTube channel called Dan Corona Stream Playlist, and I have, like, 350 songs that are all non-copyright and straight bangers in that playlist. They're all just either like from lo-fi to like hype music to like suspense to like congrats you fucking did it music to like video game soundtracks. It's just it's nothing but the best of the best bangers. My stream playlist is elite. What did you major in? Film. AKA I majored in content creation, baby. I went I went to become a Twitch streamer. I majored in the entertainment industry. I'm about to, I'm ready to work in the entertainment industry, baby. Ludwig 2.0 made by Ludwig. Okay, well. I'm a bit more of my own person these days than I am just like built on Ludwig. I have my own community. Do what I want to do. Make some pog videos. I'm all self-made, baby. I'll do my own stuff. Editing, all that. Occasionally I ask for some help on a thumbnail from Mr. Five Center Rose.
shit. Now we're fine. You never see it coming. Oh god, what the fuck was that bounce? Stop bouncing me that way! Flip me the other way! You little bitch! Oh my god, I hate this thorn. I had it too. I was on the fucking wall ready to jump off and it bonked me, bro. I just lost like 10 seconds on that. Oh, I had the flip? Bro, I didn't even, couldn't even see that. Oh, I hit the ceiling. Oh. Is streaming going to be my full-time job? I wish. I would I would love that, Kilroy, but it's it's circumstantial. Like, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I have to find work somehow. I have to make money and, like, you know, start supporting myself. I would I would love for that to be the... I would love to be a streamer, YouTube video, YouTuber. That's been my dream since I was, like, 12. Um, it's a big, it's a dream of mine. I'm trying, I'm fine. I can finally put that, put it, start trying to put it into reality. Like now that I have like this base community to, to build on, right? Like I have people who support me and like my content. Um, it's very motivating that I have lovely viewers that are here every night. Um, and in my discord talking to like, we're just like friends pretty much because they're always talking in the discord. I, I talk in the discord all the time to my viewers. We have we have five head conversations in the Discord. I have the driving instruction two hours today and tomorrow. Film. Uh, I had no side effects from the first vaccine, but the second one took me for almost an entire day. Yeah, second one fucked me up for sure. I was out of it. Kind of copied him and slowly merged away doing your own thing was actually pretty cool. That's how, I mean, that's what you do, right? You ain't can twist, find your own identity, and then build off of it. I, the more you do content creation, the better and better you'll get at it. Like, right, like, you don't, no one starts off, like, the best, no one starts off the biggest streamer. You start slow, you figure out what works, you know, you, you develop your own identity, you get better and better at talking to Chad and, and not, and filling dead space or dead air, right? Being more and more entertaining as, as you go. Like, I've been streaming for two years. I was fucking boring when I started streaming. I, I'm a boring person, but uh, I found a way to, you know, combine me rambling and, and fucking motor mouthing and talking with decent gameplay, aka Pogo Stuck, where it can be, it can be like entertaining for people who want to watch the game and people who want to listen to me ramble and, and want to know about my personality and stuff. And then in other games, my like and interacting with people, my personality shines even more. Like when I, when we're cracking jokes and, and and stuff like that. Uh, like I I I 100% believe in myself to to get there or like that I could be like a big content creator one day. It's just about hitting those ideas, hitting those algorithms. You know, interacting with people, getting noticed somehow, somewhere or another. I mean, I I don't like like bothering people or like clout chasing and stuff, but uh. I would love to be a big streamer <laughs> one day and I'm I don't know what I should be doing it's a it's a hard thing to like figure out what you should be doing you know I know side effects in the, uh, I read that already uh... yeah this is Lud's alt account Lud isn't a bars like our boy that's facts Part-time stream, part-time YouTube, part-time editor. Written, produced, starring Darren Corona. Feel strong, man. I would love... I, I would, what I'm looking for right now, that I'm graduating from college, I have, like, all the time in the world to become another streamer who's bigger than me. He's, like, full-time editor. But I don't know how to prove... Like, how what to throw at them to prove that I can be their editor. Or, like... Who is big right now that doesn't have an editor and would need an editor and whose content that I could enjoy and understand and be able to make into good YouTube videos? Like, I could do that with, like, Ludwig or Atrioc or Stans, but they all have editors already, right? Like, Quack's Atrioc's editor. I don't. I have to find that a person who I could be an editor for, and I, I would do it. I would actually be do it. Like, I, I would actually do it in a heartbeat. I would love that for that, for that to be my job. And then, like, that would also help my stream and... 
you know, it can go in tandem with the dream of working in content creation, like YouTube and Twitch. Um, but it's I'm, like right now I'm kind of at a, in a standstill because I'm trying to move out of my parents' house because I think that would make the content ten times better if I moved out with my friends and always had them like coming in and out of stream, kind of like Mizkif, how he has his friends like all over the fucking place every stream. Um. But I need money to do that, right? I don't have money. My stream's not make my, pulling in thousands of dollars. It's we're a small stream still, right? So I'm gonna go back. I'm going back to my summer job on Wednesday. Um, I'm gonna try to get a job at Armo's company, maybe pot potentially towards the end of the summer when like the golf course is getting slower, and my job starts slowing. Like my my current job starts slowing down. Um, I'm gonna try to save up like at least ten thousand dollars to to move out and you know put down a down payment on an apartment or something. I want to go to Texas. So it's going to be a big move for me because I'm in New York right now. Um, but I might end up going to like Florida or California or wherever the fuck if I move out with Armo and his business takes him there. Um, so it's a lot of uncertainty in the future. Obviously, ideally, I would be a streamer and like and make enough money to, to hire my friends and, you know, move out to our own place wherever the fuck we want. But I don't have that kind of money or that kind of success. So it's it's just, you know, it's, I'm at a... I'm at a time in my life where there's a lot of i don't know what path to take and i'm just trying to open myself up to as many opportunities as possible like i just took up took up a small editing job for a csgo tournament by ludwig's friend nick um to edit um some like highlight like little highlight montages for the stream um which is kind of sick uh that's pretty hype uh, but it's not like a full-time thing it's like a part-time editing job right move in with lud yeah i'm sure lud would want me around the guy who fucking Annoyed the shit out of him in Togo stuff. Ludwig congratulated me on graduating college today. Hold on, can we talk about this? I pushed the clip in my Discord. Uh, I, he was. It was at a, a moment in between Valorant line. games. So check this. Me and chat. Dan, how you doing? I said, hey, Lud, how's it going? ETH did go back up today. Thank God. He said, good, Dan. How's it going? Yesterday. Oh yeah. Damn near died. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting toasty. Ready? Right Fought the follow up. I will say, I walked outside for a bit today wearing what I'm wearing now, and I was like, no shot, this is a good idea. I said, doing all right, graduated from college this week sweaters, at Ludwig. Too, so you're in trouble. Mods, any predictions for the final game? Let's open them up. Congrats, Dan. Ho, ho, he's Woo! not going to say it, man. Just... Thanks, Lud. Appreciate that, homie. <laughs> so yeah, that was cool. That was a little cool thing that happened today when I woke up. AKA, like, 5 p.m. You're not boring? I, it... In person, I'm a very boring person. This is why I don't have a girlfriend. Because no girl wants a fucking streamer nerd, gamer nerd. <laughs> that, like, literally would ignore her all the fucking time to edit and stream. Uh, and I just fucking... I don't know. I just... I'm good at talking about what I'm passionate about. Like, gaming and stuff. And stream and chat and talking to chat and Twitch. But I, And, like, my life. But I don't, I'm not, like... I'm not necessarily entertaining in real life. I'm just kind of just there. I'm kind of just hanging out, hanging in there. It's hard to get like I'm I'm very mellow outside of streaming. Like like streaming gets me excited to fucking talk to chat and talk to people, but like I'm very mellow in person. Like today I, my my I went with my mom to get dinner and I was just like fucking asleep still. And then like I only woke up when the Islanders started playing. I started watching hockey and getting hyped. I'm, I'm, I'm like, insanely laid back more than you guys will know. It's just, it's different on stream because I, I, pop, I, I get excited to play games and pop off and make exciting content. I think you have the personality and the drive to become a big streamer, and I can see it being hard because Pokestuck isn't that big. Yeah, like, I do, I don't strictly stream Pokestuck. I'm just doing it this summer. Basically, I, I didn't play Pokestuck this entire, like, year so far until, like, late April. Right? Like, because, number one, I'm going to be working, so I'm not going to have a lot of time to stream stuff. And I know people will come hang out in my chat if I play Pogo Stuck. Because I want to keep, I want to keep, like, showing my face so that, because I'm not going to be able to, like, make a whole lot of, do a lot of whole big content ideas. Because I'm going to be busy working, making money, trying to move out of my parents' house. And then once I move out of my parents' house, big content ideas are going to be in into the fray right away. Um, but yeah, right, right now... I'm pretty much gonna be playing a lot of Pokestuck speed runnings, speed runs, but I think my best videos are when I come up with a banger idea and I execute on it really well. 
like my Pokestock videos aren't my best videos, right? They're just like PBs or like little challenges and stuff. When I have like good ideas and I execute, uh, like the, I think the beer tasting video was pretty good. Um, I think like some of the gaming stuff was pretty good. Uh, fucking raft fucking the COD campaign video was amazing. That's the funniest shit. I would go back and watch that video and I laugh at me and Armo. I love that video. Like, I, I have good videos. Outside. I had, like, great videos outside of Poco stuff. They just don't get pushed because most of my subscribers are, like, basically Poco stuck fans. And I'm not I'm not trying to get locked into one thing. Plus, Map 3 is coming out, and um, once Map 3 comes out, if I'm pushing out, like, major, major Map 3 content, um, and, like, it blows up and people are watching it because all the streamers think the map's, like, easy enough to, to grind and complete... Like, Mizkiff, XQC, like, all of them are playing Map 3, and there's a lot of eyes on the game. They transfer over to Pogostuck, and they see, like, a speedrunner playing it, and they're like, wow, this kid's really good, and he's entertaining. Let me follow. I start getting more. Like, like I only hit 1,000 subs, or, on, or like, 1,000 followers on Twitch after Pogostuck Map 2, because that brought a lot of attention to my channel, uh, which was sick. So, Map 3, I'm hoping to give it get another push, and then get a lot of pe more people staying to where... I have more YouTube subs and my videos start getting pushed and recommended to people and stuff like that. So I'm I'm going to try to focus a lot on Pogo this summer because it's easy it's an easy game to stream um, and just relax and talk to chat uh to keep me involved while I'm focusing on work because I need to make money like really badly because I have student loans to pay, insurance stuff uh and I want to move out, so I have to save a lot of money. But that being said, I am not a Pokestuck only content creator. I do make other content outside of Pokestuck. Your edits are actually phenomenal, though. Eh, they could be better. <laughs> oh, I, I'm always... I don't know. I always undercut myself, maybe, but... Uh, I know I can improve in a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm always seeking improvement in terms of content. I think that's... I think any every, every content creator should be doing that. You shouldn't try to get stalemate yourself, right? Glenn's gonna stop streaming stream? Why? Oh, the a track SMP? Yeah, yeah, same quack, same quack. Mogul Moves 2.0? I would love to make a company and, and like hire all my friends and, and live like that. I think that would be so sick. Like, love living my dream life right now. Get an e-girl? No. <laughs> I cannot date online. That's... It's... I, I can't do long distance. Wives hit different? Yeah. Sure, I want a wife. I'll get married someday. If it's the right girl. See his pool. Exclamation point steam for the one time. Postdoc using a foot controller? I don't. I tried the foot pedals. They didn't really work. So I don't know how that would work. Steam video. Steam. Yeah, the Steam idea was really good. I did it basically like Ludwig's Amazon stream. I did it, but with Steam games. And we just did a whole stream where we played a bunch of like these like, shitty games that chat bought me, right? Like I put $100 to chat. They bought $100 worth of video games. We played those $100 worth of video games on stream and had a good time. Like, it, it was it was cool. Using a steering wheel on Super Monkey Ball? I don't know if I could get that to work. Because I would need to route it through Dolphin, right? And I don't know if Dolphin would read the steering wheel controller. Also, you need a front and back input. Because <laughs> it's like it's like a it's like use like an analog stick to control. It's not just left and right. He got accepted into a good college and wants to focus on school. I mean, fair enough, right? Like, I literally went to college for film because I wanted to make content in some way or another. Um, if Glenn's not like pursuing to be a content creator. Why should he focus on streams when he, like, is pursuing another career that will, like, make him money and successful and happy or whatever? Like, I would, I'm, I'd be, like, he should stay involved in the community, I think, because we're, we all, like, know him and love him, but... Um, fair enough for him focusing on school. I mean, I think that's very reasonable. Monk steer. Robotics? That's fucking cool. <laughs> Quick, Glenn starts working at NASA. Or fucking SpaceX or whatever the fuck. NASA's not really a thing anymore, is it? 
I guess it is, but it's not really like the main leader in space exploration right now. But yeah, that's my rant, chat. I, I, every, I feel like every month I do a rant that's like just me like talking about my plans in life and my hopes and dreams. <laughs> I do it a lot, I feel, but... He could make you a custom foot controller. Yeah, there you go. Shit. No flip. No, I feel I'm literally just like I feel like I'm just like one YouTube video away that hits the algorithm from like blowing up. I feel I don't, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people have said that to me, and I don't know. I feel like I need more vari good variety content. I'm just like slow at editing right now because I have so much going on in my life. I only get I only get like real time to edit every once in a while. Uh, whereas like last summer when like, you know, COVID had everything closed and I literally was just only doing content. Uh, I was like posting daily, which is like insane. I was editing every day, getting a YouTube video f prepared for the next day. Um, and that's like the dream, right? Like I want to get back to that, but I can't really do that because I have like real life slapping me in the face, like trying to move out and stuff like that. I need to save, I need to like work my ass off this summer, save money, you know, try to set up like at least some funds to, to re rely on or some kind of source of income to rely on while I s keep trying to make good content and, um, you know, get to a point where I can quit said job and then go full time content. Like, that'll always be the dream. And I will... I'll be streaming for... Ever, <laughs> honestly. Like, I'll never stop wanting to make content and... Entertain, I guess. It's just a matter of if, if it's successful or not, and if we get there. If we don't get there, I have no regrets in my life, and I, at least I tried, you know? You don't know if something will happen until you try it, right? I landed weird. Sorry, we got the backup. One trump, one jump backup. Are we on good pace right now? I don't even know, chat. I have no idea, but I'm fucking so locked into this run. Shit. Ooh. No flip, cringe. Oh man. Yo, up, Tempest. Uh, we're kind of just chilling, Tempest. Kind of just talking. The runs have been okay. There have been some good ones. I had a 414 earlier. Four seconds above my PB. That was a pretty good run right there. We just choked it. I didn't get a flip on the B. Which is kind of cringe. Were your life Poke was actually kind of terrifying if you were the Pogo dude? Yeah. Do you like ramen? I haven't eaten ramen a lot, honestly. Um, the couple times I've had it, I've had some good ones and some bad ones, so I'm kind of like iffy on it, I guess. I wouldn't order it at a restaurant if I had the choice. But I don't think it's bad, per se. Yeah, mama. Thank you, Rose, for that.
they pay a cold. A s 75 cents will give you a day's worth of meals? That's, that is true. But also a fucking heart attack because of how much sodium. Just vibing Michael Live later? Hey. If I, let me follow you. I'll look out for you for a quick raid. If I'm, I don't know how li late I'll be live. We'll see. It's your birthday, Tempest! Happy birthday! Woo! Yeah! Also, you're playing Bean Battles, my guy? Bean Battles is the GOAT. Who are you playing with? Are you playing with Quack? Or just viewers? I see Juicy. Blart. He's not even at his desk. Are you listening to my stream? Tempest! Happy birthday! What is this kid? Are you on your phone or something? What's he doing? Tempest! When it happened, my ads are working again. Tempest! Happy birthday! <laughs> Wait, watch it. Tempest! I don't think you can hear me. I think, you, I think you dipped out. Yo, mama's so fat that when she fell, no one was laughing, but the ground was cracking up. Oh, Megalal. What do you want? What do you? What's going on, Rose? So you're right. I can cheer once again. Sodium cares about that old thing. Me when my heart explodes. Move one degree to the right. You give in strand on your back. Then easy PB. Once you go to the right. All right. We're good. PB coming. Incoming. Good night, Nia Nick. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. Yo, mama is so fat her belly button gets home 15 minutes before she does. Funny, funny. Don't talk about my mama like that, alright? Glow is the goat. Don't talk shit about glow. Mama is so fat she doesn't need the internet because she's already worldwide. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide, baby. <laughs> Who was I? Oh, I was talking to. to <laughs> I was playing. All right. This is a fucking dumb joke, but I was playing this game called like JKLM, right? So basically, you pl you. How the fuck do I do this? Rose, okay, well, up, basically, you, you just, you, you type in words that, like, have, like, the letters on the bomb in them, and you have to be, like, quick, otherwise the bomb will explode, and it was, like, it was, like, D-A-L, and I wrote, like, I wrote Dale, like, Yo fucking, so like, fat, fucking Pitbull says. Alright, shut fit. up, Rose. Uh, I, I, I typed in Dale, and I fucking, the, I killed the guy next to me, because I went, I'm Mr. Wawa, baby, <laughs> and he started laughing so hard that he couldn't type. Mr. 305! <laughs> <laughs> like, I literally typed Dolly and I went, Dolly, I missed the worldwide! And he started fucking cracking up and he couldn't type because he was fucking laughing so hard that he died. She was fucking hilarious. My boy Kaylee. Mr. Kale. He's from Sweden. Shut the freak up, Ross. Shut the freak up, Ross. Mom Rona. Mom's so fat when she sits down, her back looks at you funny. Yeah, Brian doesn't repeat what you say if, if uh, you drop some curse words. I don't know why. Gotta go to school tomorrow morning, have a good stream. Hey, thank you, Verlace. And fucking... Hey, thanks for the five gifties, my man. Shots? I don't have any elk. Armo took the took the Malibu to his house because it's his, honestly. It wasn't even mine. 
Um, and I never got any liquor, because I don't drink liquor frequently. And also, me and fucking- me and Arma bought a 12-pack of- of Smirnoff Ice, like, seltzers, and we fucking finished the entire thing between the two of us in one night. Not- that's like- that was the stream we were doing Valorant, but switching off every round. I was, like, hammered that- after that stream. Ross, you freaking smell like a shit stain. <laughs> okay. Apparently Brian's not afraid of the word shit. Shame. It is a damn shame. If someone wants to give me like 20 bucks dono right now, I'll buy some liquor and do some shots tomorrow night. Actually, I won't do that because I have work Wednesday morning, so that would be very not good. You but I'll still buy the liquor and drink it at some point. For 20 shecks. You load of a shit pile, you started it. <laughs> well, stop arguing. <laughs> my two mods are fucking fighting each other right now in my chat. What are you guys doing? Real name BTW. Later, whale. Take it easy. Best day of the year tomorrow. Let's fucking go. I'm back. Let's talk to my mom. Hey, happy birthday, Tempest. Happy birthday, my guy. Have a good time playing bean battles with Juicy and Blart. <laughs> bean battles kind of goaded. No cap. No cliz out of stiz. Hundo p facts. No cliz. No kex. How the run's going? Uh, all right. My mods are currently fighting each other in chat with bits and t TTS. Um. Saying your mama you jokes and shit. shit. Why yep. is wrong with your smelly patheticus? Yeah, there we go. That's not at me, by the way. That's at Rose, I think. <laughs> I hope that's not at me. Otherwise, I'll fucking unmod your ass right now. Um, I've been a bit distracted, Quack, but... Um, the best run we've had so far is a 414, which is four seconds slower than my PB. So, they've been going alright. VIP me? Yeah, fair enough, I guess. Aatrox editor. If I do it, will you get me an editing job? <laughs> you're the best Danny man. Pinch Cavron, you smell and look like a shit stain. This is map two upside down, yes. I'm trying to get sub four minutes, which would put me... Wrong thing. Which would put me in the top ten. I'm currently 11th. We if I get you, if I get happy. if I get top I get sub four I would get number seven in the world. That's my goal right now. I love you, Dan. Thank you, Rose. Wrong form of your. How do you spell your shitty fucking name? It's over, Rose. It was funny. Here's here's how the Pogo Stuck uh, streams go, Quack. If I have under if I have under like 15 viewers, I just won't say a word and I'll grind and actually get PBs. Um, and those 15 viewers as will will fucking pop off and be like, I was here. But when I have actually viewers that are like participating in chat and hanging out, then I just like ramble and run my mouth and entertain. That's usually how it goes. Can you guys stop fighting in, in TTS, please? Fucking fight without TTS. I don't know. I don't want to fucking hear this shit. Use all your bits first, though. Do that. Use all your bits and then stop fighting. What's up, Shed Man? A bit ago, Daniel. All right, good. Take Rose's mod away and give mine back forehead. 
no smile. Oh, what? Yeah, Dan, take a hint. Using all my bits like you asked? That's channel points. Bits are a little, diff a little bit different. Two bits I'm superior? Two yeah, bits you are. I'm superior. One cent superior. Oh, you're donating one bit? I'm donating it two bits at a time. Hmm. Peasants. Marsh, stop being a rat. <laughs> Why are we saying this out loud? Why am I not getting flips? Alright, I gotta be your back check. I've had to pee for the past, like, hour, like, legitimately. I have to pee so fucking bad. I'll be back in a sec. Here, enjoy the Mario Kart team. <laughs> okay, back to Val. Him better than Rose amused. Holy shit, it was like the longest pee of my life. She pissed for a solid like 10 minutes straight. No cap. That was nuts. Shush Marsh. Why is there like no one in my lobby? People just don't like not playing map two these days.
play this on repeat? What is that? Spotify, which is sketchy. If it's copyright, I can't play it, Tempest. I'm not, I don't play copyright shit on my stream. That's 100% copyright, Mr. Tempest. I guarantee, I guarantee it. What's up, school? The Dan Guarantee, yeah. It's, it was Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. I, I used to have that in my playlist, actually. And then it got copyright fucking struck on a YouTube video, and I was like, well, gotta go. It's the do, 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 do. Do pew, pew. That's that song. Sealed and approved. already played i gotta refresh my playlist some youtube's shuffle system is so dog shit and they never fixed it it's just like it plays the same like it at like a certain point it just starts playing the same like five songs on repeat and you're just like well i have 350 songs on my playlist but it only it's only playing the same five songs in a row until you have to like close the page and reopen YouTube. That was kind of steezy, not gonna lie. I was holding rotations the entire time on that one jump. One jump vine. Kind of smooth. I'm a smooth dude. Only plus two. Still PBable. Maybe not sub four, but. That's a fake split. Don't pay attention to that, minus 11. Like, this song already played. Like, fucking shitty YouTube. Oh my god, really?
Fuck me, man. It's copyright tempest, I can't play it. Fuck, I just fucked up a PB by one second. Uh -huh. <laughs> that one, that bonk on blocks, that literally bonk on blocks, the last one, just lost that PB for me. Come on. That's so upsetting. That last little, like, fuck up, like, right here, right where I'm standing, before I go in the portal. Oh. Move your back one, move my back one degree did do the gambit. But yeah, Tempest, I can't play this song, because I used to have it on my playlist, but it's, it's, uh, it's copyrighted. So if I PB while it's playing, then the YouTube gets copyrighted, and Twitch will come after me, and YouTube will come after me, and the dogs will be at my neck. They don't have Nate Dog. <laughs> Nate Dog almost PB'd, bro. One second off. Or two seconds, I guess. You see me finish my second map run like map two run like an hour ago? No, but congrats. I'm proud of you. The laser doesn't contact the blocks you are starting on. What? The laser doesn't. Oh, like the bottom of the map? I don't, I don't use the laser. I want to get sub 4. I can easily do it. That run wasn't even that good. I was like plus 2 or something at Vines. You can't join your lobby? Yeah, this lobby's like screwed. I don't know what's good with this lobby. Finish when you reset the run. Okay. Alright, Bucci. I see you. Quick map to champion. setting I really need like a clean beginning clean beginning and then like fucking the ending not be dog shit and it's like easy sub 4 because my ending's what's bad honestly my beginning's pretty good it can be faster though like there's still mistakes in the beginning like there's mistakes all over this run like if I just don't make any mistakes even if I move slow sub 4 easy Photon scooter, hop in the whip, I'm a starving shooter. Come on. Just don't make mistakes. Yeah, let me just do that real quick. Let me shut my brain off. jump take looks very precise it is it is pretty hard to do but uh, i've been doing it doing it i've fucking been doing it a lot so i'm just getting more and more used to it i guess but it's still really hard you can probably do it though you could just like do egg skip you don't have to like do that fast start to get consistent takes a while though it's just it's just memorizing an angle right just like any other jump in this game that you like build muscle memory for you just get down the uh the movements you get more and more consistent. 
Which is an annoying thing to have in the beginning of the run, though. Doesn't matter for a speedrun, but for, like, races, like, tournament mode. It kind of sucks. Better not let her... Mm -mm. Give me a flip game. Oh my god. Super cool with the nerf again. Yeah, you could probably do it, Bucci. It's not that bad. If you can beat map 2, you can beat upside down, I think. It's it's pretty hard. What? It's not on shuffle, is it? It's just playing all the yummy songs. I didn't get far. The slime didn't push me out far enough to the right, so I just ended up landing on the left side, not getting a good angle. Um, yeah, shuffle isn't on. It's just playing all the yummy songs. There we go. I'm trying to hit a PB before the end of the night. It's 11 at Axe, jumped at a dragon. I don't know. Don't hang your head, Google. You're going to choke a lot of runs on when you get out to like, like smaller and smaller times. part on this beginning part. fatigue where you just start like not getting flips and throwing yourself at jumps instead of being precise and I've only been playing for like two hours two and a half well, I guess I've been, I was playing before stream started a little bit but that was like map one It's just, it, one of these days, it's just going to be sub-4, like, easily. It's just a matter of when it happens. God damn it. I, in the tournament, Nate Dog, I was doing, like, a, like a warm-up run, like, before my, like, the first race of the tournament for me. And mid-run... Jake was just like hopped into the call and started introducing us for the next race. Um, and I was like on pace. I was at the last split on pace for a 358, like sub four. And I, I jumped off the last blocks in the top left of the map and landed like on the little like triangle below the left, like slanting down part. 
and I went up to the to the thing, and like my guy's head went into this finish line, and I started going back down, and I, and I choked it. I, it didn't work. I would have had to go around. It would have been over my PB. And it was like live on stream. Jake was like watching, commentating it in my ear as I was fucking speedrunning. And then like I went I went into the race and immediately died right in the beginning. I immediately died off the bottom of the map. And then literally went on a run of like perfect pace where I got first in the in the first heat. Like I ended up getting placing first. Cause I my my pace after dying was just insane. And then map and then literally second race. I died again, and I was up against Sukai, and Sukai literally just burned me because he was like, had no pressure. I, I wasn't on his ass at all because I died right in the beginning, and he didn't. And I lost. I just, if, I don't, if I just don't die, probably one of the fastest. Honestly, I am one of the fastest in the world. I just, it's like, it's just like, at a certain point, it's all about consistency. It just goes from, like, I have the sh movement. I just, it's just, it's the consistency that you need. The consistency to be able to beat the map over and over and over and not fuck up things is, is what makes, like, the better speedrunner. Yeah, yeah, it was rough. But, I mean, the first round, I was fucking torqued. And my practice runs, like, in between races were, like, insane. Like, my speed was, like, insane. I was, like, not messing up shit. And then I, like, I get in race and I die immediately both races. Like, my run after that was even, like, still, like, pretty decent um, to try to catch up to Sukai. But uh, I died in the beginning, so I was, like, uh, he already had a fucking insane lead. I, like, literally, I started basically 40 seconds into the run... Which is basically like him being at like axe and I'm at the start, right? Because I fucked up the beginning like three times and then died on the fourth one. And he got it first try, so he was just gone. Streaming on a laptop is not optimal for winning. Yeah. You fucking start shaking halfway through. Um, I feel like this this time around, I didn't really sh get nervous. I did, like I did, but like I didn't really like it's not it was I didn't choke from the nerves. I think I just choked because the start is so incredibly hard and when you're like I guess I guess it was the nerves. Like when you have like four people around you and you're trying to do the start, like focusing on your own character and trying to like commit to your muscle memory is so difficult. Like the, my muscle memory would kick in at like the snake jumps, right? Like, the beginning would just be so shaky, and then I would get to snake jumps, snake jumps, and my, my run would just fall into place with muscle memory. But everything before that, in the beginning, blocks, was all just, like, shaky. I'm surprised the camera lasted that long. We're gonna talk about my 8.30 on map one tourney. I wasn't in the map one tourney, I was commentating. Insane speed off the consistency. First three B's on Rain's heat and choked and got last. Dude, my Rain, in map two, Rain's um, first race was like a minute slower than my first race. But then I literally just choked the second run, the second race, of course. That one I think I was more nervous because like, I was like, fucking popping off on map 2 at that point. So I was like, I had a lot to live up to. And I think it just got in my head, got in my own head. Like I was third in the world and like, fucking just set that time that day. So I was like, sh moving. Um, and I just had, like, the biggest fucking choke. Apart from Glenn, who hit X, but... Why? Why do I... Why? Why?
Only plus four. Like, my beginning's so dog shit. I can get minus six on my first, like, major split. That's, like, that's pretty terrible. My beginning of my run is pretty bad. We heard this song like seven times. I I have 350 songs in this playlist and the same five songs keep playing. YouTube is so annoying. Again. I don't want to listen to this. Heard this already. Heard this already. Heard this already. Heard this already. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god. It's doing it again. It's just playing the same seven songs on loop. Why do you do this, YouTube? I hit fucking shuffle for a reason. Jesus. Glenn, you and Val? Yeah, we all fucking choked. Dude, every time I have a cracked beginning, if it's not frequent, every time I have a cracked beginning, I, the axe is always swinging down on top of me as soon as I get up there. I always get the bad cycle when I have a cracked beginning. Always. Never not get the bad cycle. Like, that was probably going to be like, close to my minus six. I hit the skip, like, as clean as it gets. The slime skip. One jump both sides. Like, that's the thing about this game. It's like, the lobbies are forever moving, right? And they're different for each person. So it's not like set cycles ever. Like, I can't just, there's no, like, timer where I can look at to be like, alright, if I go on this, then the axe will be, like, in this position. Like, I can't read that. Like, so it's gonna be random every time I get up there. So it's like, I could just get screwed by RNG. And then with the bees, too. That, that applies for the bees as well. I could just get screwed with RNG and have the axe and the bees be in bad positions, and then it just slows my run down by, like, five seconds. I guess it's kind of like the fucking Wind Waker world record or whatever, or Minecraft world record work relies like heavily on RNG. But this one doesn't really rely heavily on RNG, it's obviously it's skill. But it relies on RNG in some sense. RNG. Minus five. That's good. Yahoo! 
No flip? Oh my god, scammed. This song's so loud. Why? Oh, come on, man. Same thing, man! What the fuck? <laughs> Another 411. That's our second 411 of the night. What's up, Pretham? Yeah, yeah, my, 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 I can save six seconds at my beginning time, like, to axe, my axe split, that's the most I've gotten there. My vine split was minus five right there with, what was it, a, mi a minus two at pillars, so you add four seconds onto that, it would be minus nine Bs, and I, it's not accurate for my slopes split because my wind split is really or my uh my my b hole to like amber section is really slow so i have like the potential to save like like i think my my potential is sub 350 if realistically if we're looking at my splits <sighs> but i'm just i can't get anything i can't get anything i can't get everything right at, at the same time you know what i mean i can't get every fast strat in one run right now that's my struggle or if i if i even do any of it correctly in the slightest i like i i've been on pace for 358 in the in the tournament or like in the in that practice run of the tournament like i looked at the clock it was 358 when i should have gone through the, the finish line and even that one had some mistakes so it's like I have the skill, I have the potential, it's just a matter of doing it. That was a, it was a slow transition from slopes to coconuts right there. For sure. I fucked up a lot. I hate bonking in that. Check me? 
half the fucking like the people that are still just like lurking from like are probably like Europeans from Linkus chat they're like asleep right now with the stream on <laughs> and they're like some of them are like waking up and being like oh I still have Twitch open and this kid's cool and then they leave or they're like who is this guy and then they leave <laughs> okay so Linkus rated Quack with like a thousand viewer or whatever the fuck big raid and then the quack streamed for a while until he got down to like 130 140 viewers and then raided me getting that viewer average up you know we're trying to get partnership quick twitch partner they call me gen g dan corona Or maybe they're sticking around because you're sick at the game. And I'm entertaining, baby. Let's go. I, at least like 20 or 30 of... 20 to 30 are probably just like the normal Pokestuck lurkers at this point. Or they're so invested in this PB. They're waiting. They're pause champing. Ready to explode. Didn't rotate enough. Bad angle off the ground. What? What the fuck? Grab the wall. Oh my god.
Oh, what the fuck? What's that? Holy shit. Oh my god, please just fucking go. Like, misjudged my guy is like grabbing his pogo on the wall and just like fucking avoided everything somehow. Ah, that's so shit. Really? Going down to grapes from tree sucks ass. Uh, I use controller. Uh, you'll get really good at grapes really quickly, Tempest. After, now that you're like gotten to tree, like grapes, you'll be able to one shot over and over and over again to get back to tree. The more you do it. Well, you're way too invested in each run. You need to let go. Once it's once it's done, it's done. It's not. It's not it. You need to let that run die and move on to the next. One little aw oh, man, and then you're done. Gone. Gone with the wind. Really? I hate not hitting the fucking walls on like those fucking jumps. It's so annoying. Part of the fun. First time getting to B skip is why well, it was important to me. I mean, first time getting to B skip. What? Oh, okay. Fucking Christ. I hate not getting that angle. I hate fucking up the simple angles I've been doing like all day. Like if it's something hard, I understand. But if it's just like a simple, just I just didn't rotate far enough to the right, I just, I lose it. Makes me mad.
No flip. Very interesting. I'm schmoving, but I just keep messing up like simple stuff, you know? And that's when it just gets starts getting frustrating. It's like when I can't even get to the hard parts and it's just I'm just messing up simple stuff. Like that. I think I'm going to call it. We'll be back again tomorrow, hopefully, for another shot at the sub-4 gambit that's becoming increasingly harder to get, apparently. I feel like it's not becoming harder to get. It's just that I'm not locking myself in enough, and then I get burnt out. But that's fine, because then it makes for entertaining streams where we... uh you know, talk a lot, hang out, have some good conversations with chat. Not every stream's gonna be like that, so. It was a good one, it was a good stream. Thank you, Quack, and everybody for their raids and follows and bits and subs. Uh, let's throw on the classic. This is how we send off our night's chat. Good old Super Mario 64 staff roll. It's been a fun one. Thank you all for being here and hanging out and sticking around. The, the All 50 of you that are still here. Cad Cad, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. It's been fun. A good three hour pogo sesh with a lot of viewers in chat this has been sick good stream who should we raid chat should we raid tempest it's his birthday all right tempest it's his birthday everyone's gonna say happy birthday tempest happy birthday tempest no, not Ludwig. Everyone spam that. Happy birthday, Tempest. I'll even copy it. Happy birthday, Tempest. They all came when I showed up, Armo. Well, that definitely didn't happen. Good night, everybody. I'll catch you tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace.